Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook, One Task Per Week, Starting from the Goddess of Flash Marriage. Chapter 21 Looking at the thousands of mutated beasts coming towards him, Zhu Jojo cursed sadly to the sky. Then he put the laser cannon on his back, picked up the fatigue hard drive, and ran towards the open space. The alien beasts all went crazy and chased after him. There seemed to be no one else but him. Then, an astonishing scene appeared on the streets of this abandoned city. Tens of thousands of mutated beasts lined up in a long dragon that was hundreds of meters long, chasing a tall man who was 1.9 meters tall. This big man of 1.9 meters also seems to have unlimited physical strength. While circling crazily around the mecca, he kept shouting. My heart is cold and my heart is flying, lay by. The laser beam behind him continuously destroyed the strange beasts that tried to get close to him. But the alien beast behind him would rather risk being destroyed than catch him. An extremely dangerous craze for alien beasts turned into a game of greedy snakes wandering the streets of the city. At this time, whether it was the middle-aged man with a mustache, the soldiers of the Tianhe guards, or the ancestors who were hiding in a corner and watching everything in front of them, they were all dumbfounded. What is Rebi? Why are you all chasing Lei Bai? These two boys really have some skills. At this time, Liu Shang had already climbed up to an abandoned TV tower. Looking at the mutated beasts with residual blood filling the streets below, he silently took out his blood-stepping swallow. Liu Shang's character has always been steady. He can stay behind and quietly make a fortune, but he will never rush to charge into battle rashly. This is just like doing business before time travel, you need a deputy to show off for him. And Zhu Jojo happened to be the ideal deputy candidate he found in this world. Liu Shang pressed the air hammer on the blood-stepping swallow and began to happily harvest the remaining blood of the mutated beast below. At this moment, a black inflatable hammer was seen flying around above the herd, making a cute squeaking sound. From time to time, it would fall lightly on the heads of those mutated beasts with residual blood, and the mutated beasts would immediately split apart with a bang and turn into weapons on the ground. Plus one, plus one, plus one, comma, countless plus ones flashed before Lu Sheng's eyes, and within a short time, his latter points reached 412. The money also skyrocketed to 4.37 million. Liu Sheng took a look at the completion status of the previous task. 377 mutant beasts have been eliminated. Far exceeded the target of 10. He couldn't help but sigh. It's great to have a human shield as a teammate. As all the mutated beasts turned around and chased Zhu Jojo, the Tianhe guardsmen under mecha number 1 finally got a breather. But most of them were scarred and collapsed on the ground. Mecha number one is no longer under attack, and at the same time, the firepower of hundreds of laser guns can all hit the mutant beast. After more than half a day, the mutant beasts in the alleyway have been almost cleared away. The tide of beasts that had been so brutal just now was suddenly reduced to a few strange beasts, still chasing Zhu Jojo tirelessly. Of course, they were quickly wiped out by laser cannon fire. Zhu Jojo looked at his record of killing 4,579 mutant beasts and couldn't help laughing loudly. I never thought that I, Lao Zhu, would have such a brilliant day. As the last mutant beast was killed, the sound of system broadcast came from midair. Congratulations to all the players of Mecha Number 1 in Area 104 for successfully repelling the Beast Tide and winning the first achievement award in the area. The new task panel jumped in front of Lu Sheng again. Complete the main mission by killing 10 mutant beasts, plus 10 points, plus 10,000 gold. Complete the main mission and survive the beast tide, plus 10 points, plus 10,000 gold. Complete the main hidden mission to repel the beast tide, plus 50 points, plus 200,000 money. Randomly get a chance to draw a treasure chest. Five treasure boxes appeared in front of Lu Sheng again. A pretty good treasure chest. A very nice treasure chest. A treasure chest that cannot be missed. A treasure chest for recharging. A random trash can. Not surprisingly, Lu Sheng chose the third one. There was a soft, ding dong, sound, and another ring appeared in Lu Sheng's equipment slot. Lu Sheng clicked on the equipment attributes. Equipment name Black and White Impermanence Summoning Ring. Equipment rating Legend S. Equipment introduction You can summon black and white impermanence to help you fight. It is common all over the world and consumes 100 points every minute. 
If anyone is unhappy, let the king of hell send someone to take him away. To be honest, Lu Sheng was dumbfounded when he first saw this equipment. Imagine that in a future world filled with thermal weapons and mechas, if you suddenly see such a piece of equipment, who wouldn't be confused? It felt like Ultraman was fighting a little monster, and the Lord of Hell suddenly appeared and said, I will take this monster away first. Absurdity opens the door to absurdity, absurdity to its core. But no matter what, the black and white impermanence in this world is definitely a dimensionality reduction blow. When these two gentlemen suddenly appear behind you and offer to help you, whoever is on the other side will feel anxious. Of course, 100 points are consumed every minute, not only the opponent is beating drums, but Lu Sheng is also beating drums in his heart. Is this something that ordinary people can afford? The system broadcast in midair continues. After 15 minutes, all mechas will return, please be prepared to return. The first half of the first act of the dungeon, the hero's expedition, ends here. After returning to Sky City, the first rest point will be opened. Players can temporarily return to the real world to make some adjustments, and we will recruit everyone back to the game at any time within 24 hours. The second half of the expedition from Heroes takes about two to three days. Players are asked to arrange their time reasonably and pay attention to the balance between work and rest. The Mander Game Project team wishes you a happy game. After the broadcast was finished, a return countdown appeared in front of Lu Shang. Only 15 minutes left. Lu Sheng pulled Zhu Jojo and ran towards the weapons all over the city. The treasures smashed by the critical air hammer fell everywhere. If you want to get them all, you will definitely not have enough time. You can only take what you get. After Lu Sheng's tireless efforts, he finally picked up 54 rare grade B laser cannons, 689 excellent grade C air guns, 1,247 excellent grade C laser swords, and 2,116 pieces before the countdown ended. A rare grade B high-pressure grenade. If these weapons are sold on player forums, it is estimated that they can make an income of less than 10 million. What surprised Liu Shang the most were two things. One is epic level A mirror armor. Weapon name, mirror armor. Weapon rating, epic A. Weapon introduction can refract attacks from all ray weapons. If you dare to shine a laser on you, you are hurting yourself. The other item is the epic A sniper rifle. Weapon name, Po Ma Zhang Fei sniper rifle. Weapon rating, epic A. Weapon introduction, an extremely arrogant sniper rifle. No matter who the opponent is, one shot is 10% of full health. Of course, you need to pay a small price of points, but you shouldn't be reluctant to give it up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. As the countdown ended, the mecha successfully ignited and flew high into the sky. Liu Sheng held the handrail tightly while watching the ruined city in front of him getting farther and farther away from him until it disappeared into the thick dust. I can't help but sigh. This is my first dungeon journey. Although it was only halfway through and far from over, Lu Sheng could already deeply appreciate the benefits of playing the dungeon. Whether it is points, money or weapons and equipment, it is much easier to obtain than in the outside world. No wonder so many people are willing to risk their lives to download the copy. No wonder becoming a guild member is everyone's dream. However, Lu Sheng also knew in his heart that the reason why he was able to successfully repel the beast tide this time was thanks to Zhu Jojo's special physique. If ordinary people come here without professional training and tacit teamwork, it would be putting it mildly to say that they will escape death. Just looking at the amateurs around me, their legs were covered with mechas when they came down. Now there are only a dozen or so people left here and there. High returns always coexist with high risks. You may have the courage to come down, but you may not have the ability to go back. Half an hour later, Lu Sheng returned to the magnificent Nanshan Gate. The moment he landed, the system prompt box popped up. You have reached the rest point. Do you want to temporarily save the game and leave the copy world? Lu Sheng looked around, but did not see Zhu Jojo. Feeling a little disappointed, I directly clicked the yes button. Time passed before his eyes, and suddenly, Lu Sheng returned to his room. It was already midnight, the cicadas were chirping, and the weather was still muggy. Lu Sheng pushed the door open and went out only to find Zhang Yu still sitting on the sofa, staring angrily at the TV in front of him. 
Seeing Liu Shang come out, he shouted angrily. What are you looking at? I just stay in the house all day long. It will be bad luck if I see you. With that said, he turned off the TV with a click and walked angrily to the room. He kept mumbling. I don't know which fool caused Xu Hao to lose the first merit award he got in District 104. These amateur players who have nothing to do are competing with the guild for the first prize and they don't want to upgrade. They are really full. Liu Sheng looked at Zhang Yu's cursing back. It was rare that he was not angry, but he was in a good mood. Who else could it be? Of course it's me. Comma, comma. Early the next morning, my uncle's family gathered around the dining table to have breakfast. Since this week is a brand new copy, the attention is unprecedented. Even my uncle, who always leaves early and comes home late, did not go to the factory early in the morning but stayed to have breakfast with everyone. Zhonglin City TV station is broadcasting a special program about the review of yesterday's copy. As a special guest, the famous talker Sango is commenting on the situation in yesterday's copy. Yesterday, this situation was indeed rare. When the barrage popped up in District 104 to repel the Beast Tide and win the first merit award in the district, I even shouted at the end of my throat, saying that the Blue Elephant Guild finally managed to hold on until the moon came out. The hard work paid off. But later I found out that I had made a mistake, so I was still a little disappointed. Host, have you found anyone who can fight off the Beast Tide? Sango shook his head. No, because the number one mecha team are all amateurs. Normally, there are no cameras prepared for the live broadcast. Although the research association urgently dispatched two camera seats afterwards, it was already too late. Host, tell me what you think about this amateur. I see some people on the internet are saying that this is the trumpet account of some great god. Sango cleared his throat. I estimate that the probability of it being the trumpet of a great god is relatively small. Because everyone saw the beast tide yesterday. There were tens of thousands of mutated beasts, and even a great god couldn't handle it. My guess is that this person may be someone from the Mander Game project team. The host was obviously surprised. People from the project team. This is a very bold guess, because after all, no one has ever talked about this topic in the entire world. Sango sat up straight and looked determined. Look, at the beginning of the dungeon, there was a common sense test question. Under the new world view, someone actually got full marks. And this person happened to be from Area 104. This is definitely not a coincidence. The host nodded. It makes sense, but in any case, the copy is not over yet. Whether this person is a great god or lucky, it remains to be tested by time. We are also here to wish the Blue Elephant Guild can succeed in the next game. Achieving good results in half of the copies has added glory to our Zhonglin city. HMPH, let me tell you, this guy is just lucky. He got some props that can restrain the beast tide. The Shengshen Guild made such a good start yesterday and cleared the level with full health, but he couldn't get the first achievement award in the region. The uncle got more and more angry as he talked and slapped his chopsticks on the table. The aunt on the side was actually not angry. On this issue, the family's views were surprisingly consistent. That's right, an amateur just joining in the fun caused our Shuo to lose his first merit award in District 104. Only then did Lu Shang, who was locked in the room, realize that the achievements he and Zhu Jojo had achieved yesterday had actually caused such a heated discussion among players around the world. I felt a little worried for a while. He didn't want to become the focus of everyone so quickly. When the uncle saw Lu Sheng pushing out the door, he was startled. Xiao Lu, why are you so thin? Lu Sheng then explained. I've been losing weight recently, for several days. The uncle breathed a sigh of relief. It would be great if you can lose weight. Your dad was a handsome guy when he was thin. If you can lose weight, you will definitely be good. Zhang Yu was still in a bad mood at this time, and said sarcastically. What a handsome guy. If you ask me, ugly people tend to cause more trouble. This time, it was rare that my aunt did not agree with Zhang Yu's words. She lowered her head and whispered. His dad is really good looking. The uncle glared at his aunt and patted the chair next to him. Come and sit here. It's rare for our family to have breakfast together, so you're the only one left. Liu Sheng was inexplicably moved. He served himself a bowl of porridge and sat down next to his uncle. Uncle seemed to be particularly talkative this morning, 
arguing with Ant and Zhang Yu about the situation in the copy from time to time. As he spoke, he slapped the table again. Hey, there is one more thing that makes me angry. Yesterday in the dungeon, there was a pretty boy who followed Yang Yuyan shamelessly. He is probably the other half of her contract. Liu Sheng was startled and looked up at his uncle. While waiting for him to continue, his aunt was already standing aside and said sarcastically. The other half of the contract is probably a serious husband who is happy with her. Fart, Yang Yuyan never looked at him seriously from beginning to end. The uncle seemed to be even angrier than Liu Sheng, the real contract husband. Liu Sheng was immersed in his porridge and found a moment when no one was chatting and suddenly said. Uncle, aunt, I plan to go out and stay for a few days this week. Both uncle and aunt's eyes were full of surprise. The difference was that the uncle's eyes were not only surprised but also a little confused, while the aunt's eyes were full of surprises. Why, are you unhappy living at home? The uncle glanced at his aunt and asked in a calm voice. Liu Sheng shook his head and replied with a smile. No, my partner and I agreed to rent a house together. So I wanted to take advantage of these few days to go out and do odd jobs and earn some money. In fact, the real reason is that the second half of the copy is expected to take two to three days. This means that Liu Sheng will disappear for at least two days. At that time, it is inevitable that you will be asked where you are, and your uncle will even be worried for no reason. Instead of doing this, why not just find a reason to go out first? In addition, he has some savings now. It is better to be able to live alone than to suffer in this house. The uncle seemed relieved after hearing this, nodded and said. Well, that's a good thing. Young couples should live together, not with us old guys all the time. Normally, when my aunt heard Liu Sheng say that he wanted to go out and do odd jobs to earn money, she would inevitably get a few words bitter, but this time she actually praised her. The little deer has really grown up. So how many days do you plan to stay out this time? I'll be back before Sunday this week. I'll just clean it up next week and maybe move out first. Well, you have to move there as soon as possible to reunite with your wife. Don't let her stay alone in the empty house for too long. After Liu Sheng finished breakfast, he simply packed up his things and went out. Now he has as much as 4.59 million in his account, enough for him to live in a five-star hotel for several years. The only problem is that he still only has 482 points. Five-star hotels in the city are not yet accessible. But this is not a problem for Liu Sheng, because he did not plan to stay in a five-star hotel. Liu Sheng found a resort hotel near the Luan community where he stayed last time. 200 a night, he paid 1,000 yuan directly. Liu Sheng has inexplicably fallen in love with this place since he came here to rummage through the trash last time. There are few people, it's quiet, and the security is responsible. If he really has the opportunity to buy a small house in the future, he will definitely buy it in this community. The hotel room is quite clean. When you open the curtains, you can see the two-lane asphalt road and the dense sycamore trees. Liu Sheng stood on the electronic scale in the room and weighed himself. He weighed 196 pounds, nearly 4 pounds lighter than two days ago. Everything in life seemed to be slowly returning to normal. Liu Sheng, who had temporarily escaped from his uncle's house, lay contentedly on the large cream white mattress, feeling extremely relaxed. Near noon, Liu Sheng ordered a takeaway for himself. He pulled his chair to the window and browsed the player forum while eating takeaway. The most popular post at the moment is indeed, Master of Area 104, please surrender yourself as soon as possible. The whole post is speculating on which great gods trumpet the amateur who not only got perfect scores on the common sense test but also fought off the beast tide is. There are many netizens arguing fiercely below. The one who can kill so many mutant beasts must be a guild. I wonder which guild is so perverted. Please, the guild has live broadcasts. If you don't have a live broadcast slot, it means you are an amateur. Amateur, oh my god, can an amateur be so good? Give me confidence, brothers, I also want to write a book. Comma, the following comments are mainly focused on guessing who this great god is. Liu Sheng browsed briefly and found that no one could accurately describe who this great god was. So I relaxed, closed the post, and started browsing the forum. To his surprise, the second-ranked post was actually, 
the shitty goddess contract husband, if you don't give me a gift, I will give it to you. But what is different from before is that this time the poster has updated it again. Everyone, the poster did what he said and gave the gift to the goddess Yuyan. Not only that, he also downloaded the dungeon together with the goddess. It was so exciting. Wow, what is the background of the original poster that he can actually write a book with the goddess Yuyan? Stop guessing upstairs. The owner is Liang Chu, the grandson of Vice President Liang, the person in charge of the Research Association's database. This background is awesome, no wonder. Seeing that the content in the post was not scolding himself, Lu Sheng clicked the red cross in the upper right corner with relief. Of course he would not have any illusions about his status as Yang Yuyan's contract husband. With his current status, compared with Yang Yuyan, he is simply a person from two different worlds. This is just a task. The person Yang Yuyan could finally like was someone with Liang Chu's status. Lu Sheng looked at the time, it was exactly 1 o'clock in the afternoon. There are nearly 11 hours until the 24-hour call-up. Lu Sheng plans to have a good sleep first and then exercise on the ultra-time treadmill for 3 to 4 hours. The only small hidden danger is that the fatigue hard drive will be full soon. You have to find an opportunity to release it. Comma. Comma. A temporary board meeting was being held in the luxurious conference room on the top floor of Yang's real estate headquarters building in the commercial district of Shanghai. Those attending the meeting were all the major shareholders of Yang Real Estate, Yang Yuyan's grandfather Yang Chengqing, father Yang Kaishan, three brothers Yang Hai, Yang Kuo, Yang Tiankong, and the head of the Ju family, Ju Yucheng. The only two girls left are Yang Yuyan and Ju Xiaoxiao. The subject of the meeting was, of course, the mysterious man. I have sent people to investigate. There is indeed no live video. It is definitely not a member of another guild. The eldest brother Yang Hai turned on the projector and projected the news collected overnight on the middle of the conference table. Although there is no live video, we still managed to find two amateurs who were present at the time. From their description, they are two ordinary people. One is about 1.9 meters tall and has very good physical strength. The other is a fat man who hides on top of the TV tower and uses an air hammer to harvest mutant beasts. Both parties involved mentioned that the tall man had extremely good physical strength. He ran at full speed for more than two hours, and even a mutant beast couldn't catch up with him. Second brother Yang Kuo frowned and looked at Yang Hai. Running at full speed for two hours is not tiring. How can there be such a person? Maybe special props were used. Yang Tiantian answered. In the prop illustration we are working on recently, there are similar props that can relieve fatigue. The key to the problem is not the props. Yang Kaishan held his chin with his right hand and muttered. The key is why these mutated beasts are chasing the tall man. Also, the person who got full marks in the common sense test is probably among these two people. With a completely new worldview, how can ordinary people get full marks? So there must be something unusual about these two people. Dad, what do you think? Everyone in the room finally turned their attention to Yang Chengqing, the founder and chairman of Yang's real estate group. After a burst of uncontrollable coughing, Yang Chengqing took a breath and said firmly, No matter whether these two people have a guild or not, they must join our Shengshen Guild as soon as possible. The board of directors can approve at least 100 million funds for this solicitation. If there are special competitors, the funds can be increased to 500 million. Yang Chengqing's words set the tone for today's interim board of directors. We will try our best to recruit two people, and the cost will be within 500 million. Yang Kuo, who is responsible for public relations and marketing strategy, nodded to Yang Chengqing. Understood, Chairman, we will first let out the news about 100 million, firstly to confuse our opponents, and secondly to explore their trump cards. Yang Chengqing nodded, just do it. The interim board meeting has come to an end. Yang Yuyan suddenly asked, Grandpa, how is your health? Everyone present looked at Yang Chengqing with great concern. Yang Chengqing waved his hand. It's okay. I recently met a little heavenly master who gave me a treatment method, which is quite effective. Little heavenly master. Yang Yuyan immediately frowned. Grandpa, don't trust those street liars casually. Maybe your competitors deliberately arranged to be around you. Don't worry, Grandpa knows it. You, on the other hand, 
haven't told everyone yet who is your significant other who is getting the certificate from you. This time, everyone's eyes turned to Yang Yuyan again. Yang Yuyan's face turned red. Grandpa, didn't I say it before? In order to get points, I just randomly found an ordinary person. You don't need to know him. Yang Kaishan looked at Ji Yu Xiaoxiao with a straight face. Xiaoxiao, have you seen the other half of Yuyan? What kind of person is he? Ji Yu Xiaoxiao suddenly felt excited and whispered. I've seen it before. They are indeed ordinary people, but people, people are okay. The last two words, okay, are as thin as a mosquito's moan. Is it really okay? I read online that Xiaoyan hasn't received the gift yet. This time it was third brother Yang Tiankong who spoke. His favorite thing is to search the internet for gossip about his precious sister. Yang Kaishan suddenly frowned, looked at Yang Yuyan and said seriously. Xiaoyan, you're here now and you haven't even received a gift. Who are you looking for? Although you are here to complete the task, you also represent the face of our Yang real estate. Not just anyone can get a marriage certificate. Yang Yuyan lowered her head and did not speak. Yang Kaishan said in a gentler tone. Lin Yang also called this morning. Your fiancé wants to ask what we mean. Now that the last task has been completed and the points have been earned, is it time to divorce him and get married to him? At 9 o'clock in the evening, after a full sleep and three hours of exercise, Lu Sheng was really bored and lay in bed in a daze. Suddenly I remembered that I still had a side mission that I had not completed, so I quickly took out the secret keycard and returned to the dungeon again. When he opened his eyes again, he had arrived outside the Nanshan Gate. There are no players nearby at this time. Only the soldiers guarding the city patrolled back and forth on the walls on both sides very dedicatedly. After Liu Shang submitted his identity information, he entered Sky City. This was the first time he took a closer look at this future city. Streets filled with neon lights, high-rise buildings with bright lights. Futuristic virtual projections are everywhere in the city. The air still smells of sulfur. But everyone here seems to have become accustomed to this smell, and it doesn't affect them at all from nightclubs to nightclubs. This is a city that never sleeps. Under the bright moon in the distance, there is a particularly bright group of high-rise buildings that is very eye-catching. There are two relatively short buildings on each side, and the one in the middle is unusually tall. It seems to be a beacon for the city and a silent curse to the world. That's the city lord's palace. Liu Sheng opened the side task information. Side mission update. Ancestors token. Please give the tip bag to Jin Taibai of Rongwa Mansion in Sky City before tomorrow night. Note. Entering the wrong password or failing to deliver the token on time will destroy the original dungeon plot and result in permanent assassination punishment by the subordinates. The mission location is Rongwa Mansion, and the delivery target is Jin Taibai. Liu Sheng took out the kit from his arms and weighed it in his hands. It's very light about the weight of a bag of mung beans. There seemed to be a letter inside, neatly folded. There is a combination lock at the mouth of the bag, which is a lion's head lock composed of four digits. There is a wireless transmitter behind it, which flashes a weak green light. Liu Sheng suddenly thought that the ancestor's token was with him, so how could Zhu Jojo complete the side mission? Where is he now? Where do you live in the real world? What kind of person is he? It's no wonder that Liu Sheng suddenly misses people when he sees things. Because Zhu Jojo is indeed the only person he has considered a friend since he came to this world. Liu Sheng couldn't help but take a second look at the combination lock, and suddenly discovered that a title slowly appeared above the lion's head lock. A lion head lock that will alarm if you enter the wrong password. I know, I know. Having a title and always reminding myself not to enter random passwords is really a lot to worry about. Are you that imprudent? Liu Sheng thought as he put the kit back into his arms. I accidentally slipped my hand and pressed on the title entry, alarm if you enter wrong password. After deducting one point, the entry details popped up. Title entry. If you enter the wrong password, call the police. Attribute details. Once you enter the wrong password, 7758, the wireless alarm function will be triggered and you will be punished by permanent assassination by the subordinates. Whether to copy this title will cost 10 points. Um, Liu Sheng looked at the attribute details with a confused look. If you enter the wrong password, 7758, you will. 
This title not only displays the password, but also highlights it very thoughtfully. What does it mean? Are you afraid you won't understand? Tempt yourself. Liu Sheng first calmly spent 10 points to copy the title entry. Judging from the attribute details, this entry may be of great use in the future. The moment he pressed to confirm the copy, a panel called Title Entry suddenly appeared in Liu Sheng's mind. In the first space on the panel, there was a title called Alarm if you enter wrong password. The next step is to deal with the password. 7758. It doesn't look like a serious password. Want to try it? Liu Sheng repeatedly checked the content of the side tasks. If you enter the wrong password or fail to deliver the token on time, you will be hunted down by your subordinates. In other words, unlocking the lock privately is not among the conditions that trigger a pursuit. If it can be unlocked successfully, is there still a chance to trigger a new hidden mission? Liu Sheng hesitated for a long time and finally gave up trying to open the combination lock. He is a very cautious person. If the password is wrong, wouldn't he get into trouble for no reason? After making the decision, Liu Sheng decisively stuffed the kid back into his arms. There was not much time left in the mission, and he had to find Jin Tai back quickly. The location of Rongwa Mansion is not difficult to find. Virtual projections all over the street include map functions. Liu Sheng quickly found Rongwa Mansion according to the map navigation. It's near the city lord's palace, located in an area of wealthy people's villas. There is not only Rongwa Mansion, but also Fubwafu, Jinyu Mansion, Mantang Mansion, etc. In short, every mansion is a private courtyard. Liu Sheng knocked on the door of Rongwa Mansion. The person who opened the door was an old man who looked like a butler. Nose to the sky, eyes to the ground. Who are you looking for? I'm here to deliver something to Mr. Jin Taibai. Are you looking for the master? What are you sending me? I'll take it in for you. Liu Sheng was about to take out the kit from his arms, but suddenly thought that whether it was delivered to him or not would affect his life or death. It would be safer to hand it to him personally. So he quickly said. I was entrusted by a friend of Mr. Jin. I must hand the token into his hands with my own hands. The housekeeper immediately stared at Liu Sheng warily. My little friend, you must have watched too many TV series. What era has it been? You still need to return a token. Modern people find it difficult to write letters. You should hurry up and leave. I won't see any guests today. Saying this, he waved his hand and was about to close the door. Liu Sheng was anxious and had an idea and said, It's a token that my ancestor asked me to send. Shut up. The housekeeper suddenly became very nervous and quickly looked both ways. What ancestor? How come my master has such a friend? Go quickly, go quickly. Liu Sheng looked at the uneasy and impatient look on the housekeeper's face and couldn't help but feel happy. It seemed that he had found the right way. So he deliberately raised his voice and said, Old, ancestor, say, this thing must be done with your own hands. I will take your father's life. The housekeeper quickly covered Liu Sheng's mouth, glared at him angrily, and then turned to lead the way. You come in with me. Liu Sheng followed the housekeeper through a maze-like garden and arrived in front of a magnificent villa. The laser probe in front of the door scanned the housekeeper's body, and the door of the villa opened in response. The decoration in the villa is even more luxurious than it looks from the outside. Giant crystal chandeliers, golden nanmu furniture, colorful glazed skylights, and a room full of bookshelves and unopened books. The housekeeper took Liu Sheng to a living room on the second floor, pointed to a large sofa in the room, and motioned for Liu Sheng to sit down. Wait here for a moment, the master will be here soon. Liu Sheng sat on the sofa and looked around the five-meter-high living room, suddenly feeling like he was seeing a medieval European aristocrat. After a while, the sound of a cane was heard outside the door. An old gentleman wearing a crisp suit and holding a cane with a round handle and a thin pole walked in slowly. Taking a look at Liu Sheng, he walked alone to the wine cabinet aside, put on white gloves, and started pouring wine. What to drink? Martel, Remy Martin or Evian Snow Landscape? Motai, thank you. What? The old gentleman looked at Liu Sheng with a puzzled look. What is Motai? Forget it, thank you for a glass of water. The old gentleman shrugged, poured himself a small glass of Martel, and then placed a glass of Evian Snow Mountain water in front of Liu Sheng. He cleared his throat and sat down opposite Liu Sheng. 
he raised his left leg and placed it gracefully on top of his right leg. With his upper body straight, he asked unhurriedly, I heard that you are here to deliver a token for my old friend. Liu Shang nodded. Are you Kim Tae Beck? The old gentleman nodded slightly. Liu Sheng then took out the kit from his arms and handed it over. My ancestor asked me to give you this bag. There is a code lock on it, and only you can open it. Oh, it's my ancestor. I haven't seen him in a few years. Why did he suddenly think of giving me something? Jin Taebai very calmly reached out to take the brocade bag and weighed it in his hand. There is also a lock. What's the password? Let me think about it. Try this first. Etc. Liu Sheng jumped up from the sofa and looked at Jin Taebai in horror. You try it first. Jin Taebai looked at Liu Sheng inexplicably and asked naturally. What's wrong? I haven't contacted him for a while. Is there any problem if I can't remember the password? Cold sweat suddenly flowed down Liu Sheng's face. This password lock will trigger an alarm if you enter it incorrectly once. Please be careful not to destroy the token. Well, there's still this matter. Jin Taebai then put down his bag of tips, elegantly picked up the wine glass and took a sip, tapping his fingers on the rim of the glass. Then what's the password? My birthday, his birthday, our birthdays. Liu Sheng suddenly felt as big as his head. I thought that once the tip bag was handed over to Jin Taebai, the task would be completed. Who knew that this unreliable old man couldn't even remember the password clearly? For the sake of his own safety, Liu Sheng had no choice but to remind him falsely. Is it possible that this code is related to the harmony? Is it homophonic? Jin Taebai put down his left leg, and this time put his right leg gently on top of his left leg. There have been some homophone codes used over the years. 0748, go to hell. 8384, neither 3 nor 4. 2746, so disgusting. It's all wrong. Liu Sheng sighed. Is it possible that it's the more intimate kind? Nonsense. What can I have to be intimate with him? Jin Taebai frowned and scolded loudly, but then he closed his eyes and recalled. 1930, I still miss you. 5230, I fall in love with you. 1314, for the rest of my life. 7758, kiss me. Cough, cough, cough. Liu Sheng suddenly coughed violently. 7758. Yes, it's 7758. We were in. Jin Taebai was talking happily, and out of the corner of his eye, he caught sight of Liu Sheng looking at him curiously and quickly fell silent. He took another sip of foreign wine and picked up the kit again. It won't be wrong this time. Liu Sheng caught a glimpse of Jin Taebai entering the four numbers 7758 into the combination lock. He heard a click and the combination lock opened. Liu Sheng breathed a sigh of relief. It seems that the title just now did not lie to me. At this time, a new message popped up in the notification bar. The side task ancestors token has been completed, plus 10 points and plus 10,000 money were obtained. Get the map of the item dungeon. With this map, you can find the ancestor at any time. Jin Taebai took out a triangular pyramid-like object and a letter from his brocade bag. He unfolded the letter and glanced at it quickly, then quickly took the triangular pyramid into his arms. He glanced at Liu Sheng warily and forced a smile on his face. You probably haven't opened this bag yet. Liu Sheng nodded solemnly. That's good. Jin Taebai folded the letter and carefully put it into his arms. Suddenly he turned his head and stared at Liu Sheng and asked. No, why did I just feel like you knew the password? Liu Sheng's heart suddenly skipped a beat. Jin Taebai squinted his eyes, looking at Liu Sheng from top to bottom like a fox. At this moment, the alarm suddenly sounded in the villa, and the housekeeper just broke in from outside the door. Sir, the city lord's mansion is urgently recruiting, and we need you to rush over as soon as possible to discuss matters. Jin Taebai quickly stood up, supported his crutches, and walked straight out of the door. Lao Wan, help me see off my guests. Yes, sir. Comma, comma. Liu Sheng soon left Rongwa Mansion and returned to the bustling streets. There were still not many players in the city at this time, and there were still nearly two hours until the second half of the dungeon started. Just when Liu Sheng was wondering where to go, the system broadcast suddenly sounded. Emergency Game Background Update 
The A-class heavy mecha giant spirit god was completely defeated in the frontline battle. The city lord's palace will urgently recruit 50,000 soldiers to join the S-class mechanesia and go to the lower world in 24 hours. Emergency recall mode is now enabled, and all players will be recalled to the copy in an emergency. Players who have returned to the dungeon should go to the recruitment square as soon as possible to sign up for the expedition. As soon as the system broadcast sound ended, there were suddenly many more players around Lu Shang. Some people are holding their rice bowls to eat, while others are sticking their buttocks out to wipe their shit. Suddenly coming to the dungeon world, these people all looked at each other in confusion, not understanding what happened. At this time, listen to the system broadcast sound again. Emergency update of game background. At the same time, Liu Shang's task panel also popped up. Main mission update. Go on an expedition with the team. All players are requested to go to the recruitment square within the specified time, report and register, and become a member of the expedition team. Report countdown 29 minutes and 59 seconds. The moment he saw the mission update, Liu Sheng hurried to the virtual projection on the street, skillfully called up the map, and navigated to the location of the recruitment square. Located near Nantianmen, less than 2 kilometers away. If you want to arrive within half an hour, you have to run and jog a few steps. Liu Sheng then dragged his slightly bloated body and tried his best to rush to the vicinity of Nantianmen. From time to time, players would pass him swiftly and swiftly, forcing him to sigh again and again. Although the fatigue hard drive can prevent him from feeling tired, he really can't run fast. Finally, with one minute left, Liu Sheng rushed to the call-up square with difficulty. The person in charge of welcoming the newcomers happens to be the mustache instructor. He glanced at the panting Liu Sheng and handed him a document directly. Sign this and you can report later. Liu Sheng took the document and looked at it. Fight to the death agreement. My heart couldn't help but tremble. The agreement listed dozens of orders for fighting to the death, including preferring death to retreat and preferring death to surrender. Escape and surrender will be regarded as defection and face the penalty of death. Liu Sheng had no choice but to bite the bullet and sign a life and death agreement. The mustachioed instructor then pointed to a giant tent behind him. You will be assigned to the special service force. Go over there and wait for the expedition. Liu Sheng wiped the sweat from his head and walked quickly towards the giant tent. When he walked into the tent, he found that hundreds of people had gathered inside the tent. Most people have already put on their armor and are waiting for the next action instructions. Liu Sheng saw as many as 20 live broadcast cameras in the tent. Under the most densely packed camera seats, more than a dozen members of the Blue Elephant Guild were standing. Almost everyone has a tracking camera, and star players like Chu Chenge and Li Xuao even have two to three cameras around them to capture close-ups of their faces and details. Perhaps learning from the lack of camera seats yesterday, this time there were many seats arranged even in a place where amateurs gathered. Liu Sheng guessed that the research association must also be eager to find the mysterious person. Liu Sheng looked around for Zhu Jojo in the crowd. Logically speaking, with his height of 1.9 meters, he should be very conspicuous. But Liu Sheng looked around and couldn't see Zhu Jojo's shadow. I can't help but feel a little disappointed. Where did this kid go? While still searching, suddenly a group of instructors walked in from outside the tent. Everyone is here, stand still. The escort soldiers in the tent immediately stood at attention. The leading instructor stood astride in front of everyone and said loudly, in 24 hours, we will follow the S-class Mechanesia to Wuji Mountain and face the criminal army of Sun Qishan, the leader of the criminal people. Since everyone here has just become a regular member from the reserve force and lacks a lot of basic training, the superiors have decided to conduct emergency special training for you tonight. The special training content is mainly based on basic fighting. Everyone present will be divided into two teams to receive training. Don't underestimate emergency special training. As the saying goes, if you sharpen your weapon in battle, it will be useless. The more you practice, the more likely you will be able to survive on the battlefield. Everyone must go all out and take it seriously. Listen to me. Do you understand? I understand. The momentum inside the big tent was like a rainbow. Especially the members of the Blue Elephant Guild are gearing up one by one, vowing to avenge their disgrace in the second half and win the first merit award in the division. Liu Sheng was not grouped with the Blue Elephant Guild. 
it's the best thing for him. Because he is not used to having his every move exposed in front of hundreds of thousands of viewers. Although with 20 live broadcast cameras, it is difficult to guarantee that you will not be photographed, but it is also good to be farther away from the spotlight. The fighting instructor of Liu Sheng's team is a lean and muscular man with a scar on his face. To facilitate practice, all team members were divided into groups of two. Maybe it's because Liu Sheng is considered weak, but he is playing against a girl. The girl's appearance is of the type that is not stunning at first glance, but becomes more and more beautiful the more you look at her. Especially when there is always a slight smile on his lips. It makes people feel like they are drunk in her dimples. The girl bowed slightly to Liu Shang. Hello, my name is Linglong. Hello, my name is Liu Shang. Please give me more advice. Please give me some advice. Ouch. Before Liu Shang could finish his words, Linglong quickly stepped in front of him, threw her over her shoulder, and hit him heavily on the ground. Very good, the strength and speed are well controlled. The instructor passed by the two of them and gave Linglong a thumbs up in an understatement. Liu Sheng stood up unsteadily, his whole internal organs burning with pain. It's not like he never learned free fighting before traveling through time, and he also won the amateur championship. But now he is powerless. He can clearly see the opponent's moves, but he has no time to dodge. Ling Long looked at Lu Sheng with a smile, moved her neck from side to side, and said softly. I'm coming again. Good. This time Lu Sheng was hit in the face with a left punch, and then received an uppercut. Suddenly, stars twinkled in front of his eyes. Lu Sheng collapsed on his back. Girl, what do you do? Ling Long still looked at his sweet smile, and a bright yellow title slowly appeared above her head. An agile King Kong Barbie. Lu Sheng clicked on agility. Title entry. Agility. Attribute details. Flexibility plus 100%. It's me who is as light as a swallow. Whether to copy this title will cost 20 ladder points. Without any hesitation, Liu Sheng decisively chose to copy the title. You can't get this beating in vain. At this moment, a hand slapped Liu Sheng heavily on the shoulder. Liu Sheng tried his best to look at the man, and suddenly found Zhu Jojo looking at him with a smile. Lao Zhu. Zhu Jojo nodded towards Lu Shang. I'm late. Fortunately, I killed more than 4,500 mutant beasts yesterday, so they let me in. But I didn't expect to see you looking so embarrassed as soon as I came in. Tell your brother Zhu which tough guy bullied you, and brother Zhu will help you get your situation back. Lu Shang weakly pointed in the direction of Linglong. Not a macho man, but a girl. Girl. Zhu Jojo looked at the girl Lu Shang was pointing at with confusion, and suddenly shouted in surprise. Little brat, what kind of copy are you trying to download? Ling Long looked at Zhu Jojo with a face of surprise, raised her chest unconvinced and said. I'm too young. Zhu Jojo's face was full of displeasure. Do you know how dangerous copies can be? Unexpectedly, Ling Long took Zhu Jojo's arm with a smile. Are you concerned about me? Go, go. Go, Zhu Jojo waved his hand impatiently. Lu Sheng was dumbfounded as he watched this man and a woman brazenly spreading shit in front of him, and couldn't help but ask. Lao Zhu, what is going on? Zhu Jojo wrinkled his nose. She is my contract wife. Ah, it was also the girl who my ex-girlfriend's mother took me on a blind date and fell in love with. Ah, Lu Sheng suddenly became energetic. He sat up from the ground and looked at the girl with wide eyes. Phoenix eyes, cherry lips. The skin is very white and the facial features are very soft. After Zhu Jojo's introduction, it seemed to look better than before. Ling Long smiled sweetly at Lu Sheng. Has he told you all our stories? Lu Sheng thought to himself, to be precise, it shouldn't be your story. But he nodded politely. The smile on Ling Long's face became even happier. He's so nice. Zhu Jojo shrugged helplessly. Anyway, we originally collected the divorce certificate to help you complete the task. When the task is completed this week, we will collect the divorce certificate. Okay, Brother Zhu. Ling Long's face was immediately filled with disappointment. Zhu Jojo turned to look at Lu Sheng and sighed. Originally, I wanted to help you vent your anger, but now it seems I can't. Lu Sheng waved his hands repeatedly. It's okay, it's okay. You two practice, and I'll find someone else. Lu Sheng was wandering aimlessly in the tent, and by chance, the fighting instructor caught him. 
Hey that fat man, what's going on? Are you practicing well, so leisurely? Liu Sheng's heart skipped a beat, and he quickly stood up straight and replied. Report to the instructor because I can't find a training partner for the time being. Can't find a training partner. The fighting instructor glanced around the tent and found that everyone was sparring in pairs, and there really was no extra manpower. So he waved to a tall adjutant beside him. Come here and practice with this kid. Liu Sheng looked at the adjutant who was as tall as a hill in front of him, and immediately regretted why he had given up on the beauty of an adult and given up on the exquisite girl just now. The adjutant flicked the bangs on his head and looked at Liu Sheng with a smirk on his face. Come on, fatty, let's practice. As soon as he finished speaking, a right fist flew like a whirlwind and hit Liu Sheng right in the stomach. The beating caused Liu Sheng to take five steps back, bend over and fall to the ground. On the adjutant's head, a bright yellow title slowly lit up. A muscular man with incredible strength. Based on the principle that beatings should not be in vain, Liu Sheng copied both entries. Title entry. Incredibly powerful. Attribute details. Strength increase plus 300%. One person is better than four people. Title entry. Muscular man. Attribute details. Opposite gender attraction plus 50%. Explosive power plus 50%, endurance plus 50%, anti-hit ability plus 50%. Don't be obsessed with me, I'm not worthy of you. The above two entries cost Liu Sheng nearly 50 points in total. He only has one question now. How to use these copied entries? In fact, when he saw the title, Cursed, above the uncle's head in Luan community, Liu Sheng had an idea in his mind. If only these titles could rest on others. In the spirit of giving it a try, Liu Sheng dragged the title, Agility, in the title entry panel to himself. At this moment, a prompt panel suddenly popped up in front of me. Whether to replace the entry Agility requires 30 points. It's really possible. Liu Sheng was overjoyed and quickly clicked the Confirm button. At this time, the title above his head became An Agile Fat Man. At this time, the muscular adjutant walked towards Liu Sheng with a wicked smile again. Fat man, are you so big just for show? It's no fun at all if you fall down in one hit. But it feels very good in the hand. It's soft and soft, and it doesn't hurt after the beating. It's pretty good as a punching bag. The muscular adjutant pressed hard on the joints of his left hand as he spoke. Fists as big as sandbags crackled in the air. When he was less than one meter away from Liu Sheng, the adjutant raised his fist again and hit Liu Sheng in the face. Instead of letting you go to the battlefield and be killed by the subordinates, why don't I be a good person and eliminate you first? The muscular adjutant's punch was like the wind, and he was about to hit Liu Sheng's face. At the critical moment, the adjutant's eyes suddenly blurred. When he looked again, the big fat man was gone. The adjutant stood there in astonishment, looking at Liu Sheng who was hiding aside, and was filled with surprise. Why did this fat man suddenly become so flexible? Maybe it's just good luck. He quickly shook his head, took a step back, assumed an offensive stance again, and walked around Liu Sheng. He quickly spotted the flaw in Liu Sheng's body and quickly punched him. The punch came very quickly, and the adjutant was so confident that even ordinary amateur masters were not sure he could dodge it. However, Contrary to expectations, the fat man in front of him moved around for a while, and then moved away lightly again. How can this be? The muscle adjutant and the fighting instructor looked at each other with disbelief in their eyes. How can a dead fat man not be beaten? The adjutant punched several times in a row without belief, but all of his punches hit the air. He was so shocked that he couldn't recover for a long time. Is this the same big fat man who fell down with just one beating? Liu Sheng himself was stunned after dodging this combination of punches. He never expected that just changing a title could have such a significant effect. The fighting instructor patted the adjutant on the shoulder and pulled him aside. You go and take a rest, I'll come. As he spoke, he clapped his fists and came to the opposite side of Liu Sheng. Above the head, a bright yellow title slowly emerged. A muscular man who is proficient in fighting. Liu Sheng quickly clicked on the title details. Title Entry. Proficient in Fighting. Attribute Details. Fighting proficiency reaches elite level. You used to be indifferent to me, but now I make you fall to the ground. Whether to copy this title will cost 35 points. Although the price of 35 points really hurt Liu Shang. 
but Liu Shang, who had already reaped the benefits of the title, immediately decided to copy. Elite level fighting skills are indeed much more difficult to deal with than the muscular adjutant's straight punches just now. Even if Liu Shang increased his flexibility by 100%, he still could not easily escape from the fighting instructor. After a while, Liu Shang was beaten again and fell to the ground. Sweat kept falling from his cheeks, making the granite floor shine. Liu Shang looked at the title above his head, a fat man with agility, and his thoughts changed rapidly. Since you can't avoid it, it's better to try to win by surprise. So he quickly changed the title above his head to, a fat man with incomparable strength. Then he followed the fighting instructor's oncoming fist and punched back unexpectedly. Bang! Two fists collided in the air. The extremely confident fighting instructor actually flew up under the watchful eye of the adjutant beside him. Boss, where are you going? Shut up! The fighting instructor limped back in from outside the tent, looking at Lu Sheng with a horrified face, one right hand trembling uncontrollably. Why is this fat guy suddenly more powerful than the adjutant? In fact, when punching with all his strength, muscle adjutant is still slightly stronger than Lu Sheng. However, in normal sparring, muscular adjutant usually only uses 30% of his strength due to his status. But even so, it has left an impression of superior strength. After a while, the fighting instructor recovered from the severe pain. He barely managed to take a breath and said, This punch is not bad, the power is very good, but the technique is a bit rough. I will have to practice more when I have time in the future. After speaking, he quickly turned around and walked out of the tent without waiting for Lu Sheng's reply. Lu Sheng looked at the instructor who was leaving in a hurry, and then at his fist, feeling pleasantly surprised. It seems that a new door is slowly opening in front of me. The emergency training lasted until noon the next day. Everyone collapsed on the ground exhausted. Lu Sheng, Zhu Jojo and Linglong were not affected at all because of the help of the fatigued hard drive. Instead, he seemed a little out of place in the crowd. After lunch, everyone was sitting there and resting. Yesterday, the leading instructor came in again with a group of people. All of you, stand at attention. The leading instructor shouted loudly, and all the soldiers in the escort team immediately stood up. The leading instructor glanced at everyone with satisfaction. It seems that yesterday's special training was very effective. Today we will change the gameplay and still play against each other, but it will be a duel between two groups of you. The team that wins more can decide the starting order of tonight's action. As soon as the leading instructor finished speaking, the barrage in the live broadcast room suddenly became lively. This is unfair. Fighting is a daily training program for the guild. How can amateurs compare? Whoever caused the opponent to encounter the blue elephant can only say that he was unlucky. I don't know who Xu Hao will face, that person will be the worst. Ha 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 ha, I just want to see Xu Hao. Pairs of PK are determined by drawing lots between men and women. The two sides of the battle find an open space in the tent to duel, as long as there is an instructor beside them to judge the winner or loser. Since the number of instructors was limited, circles spontaneously formed around the instructors in the tent. The Blue Elephant Guild is in the middle of the tent. Since there were so many people wanting to watch, a huge circle was formed in the middle of the tent. Laughing to death, Blue Elephant is so popular that Shengsheng set up a ring in the tent. How great is this, you can see every team member's duel, no one loses. It can only be said that the Blue Elephant Guild understands the effects of the program. Liu Sheng was lucky enough to draw an ordinary amateur. The two then found an instructor near the corner and began the competition hastily. Liu Sheng leaned on the title above his head. A fat man with great strength. After ten battles with one force, he beat the opponent with three punches until he begged for mercy and surrendered. After the duel, Liu Sheng wandered outside the Blue Elephant Guild's competition circle and watched the excitement from a distance. It can be seen that professional guild members are indeed much better than ordinary amateurs. There's a saying, don't challenge other people's careers with your hobbies. Almost within a few moves, an ordinary person would be pushed to the ground by the members of the Blue Elephant Guild. It caused constant complaints in the live broadcast room. It's so boring, I should have guessed what I was expecting before. Wait for Shuao and see how long it takes for him to win. That would only make it more boring. Liu Sheng saw Linglong and Zhu Jojo outside the crowd, and quickly stepped forward and asked. 
Who did you two draw? Ling Long shrugged. I searched for a long time but couldn't find that person. Someone said he was from the Blue Elephant Guild and asked me to wait here. Then he handed the name tag in his hand to Lu Shang. I saw the name above. Sha Shui. Lu Shang remembers this name, Li Xuao's ex-girlfriend. How about you? Lu Sheng looked at Zhu Jojo and found that he was even more confused. They all said I had great luck and were very optimistic about my performance. Who is this person? Is he such a good person? Lu Sheng then looked at the name tag in Zhu Jojo's hand and saw three big characters written on it. Li Xuao, is this guy a good guy? Zhu Jojo looked at Lu Sheng innocently. You don't know Li Xuao. Why should I know him? That's right. After all, the Blue Elephant Guild is only a local second-level guild. If Zhu Jojo doesn't live in Zhonglin City, it's normal for him not to know him. Lu Sheng encouraged Zhu Jojo and patted him on the back. You won a lottery. At this time, most of the Blue Elephant Guild's competitions have ended. The current record is 10 wins in 10 games, with only Sha Shui and Li Xuao left to play. Sha Shui is known as the first female warrior of the Blue Elephant Guild. Li Xuao has recently completed multiple 10 consecutive kills. Ranking the two of them last, it can only be said that the Blue Elephant Guild really understands the live broadcast effect. As Sha Shui slowly walked into the crowd, the Blue Elephant Guild members on the side began to shout. Who is Ling Long? Come here quickly, it's your turn, don't waste time. Ling Long let out a dissatisfied, hum. It's really unreasonable to make me wait until now and still blame me for wasting time. As he spoke, he pushed aside the members of the Blue Elephant Guild and came to the middle of the crowd. Sha Shui did not expect that her opponent would be such a petite girl. I couldn't help but chuckle. Little sister, are you here to download a dungeon at such a young age? Ling Long hated people saying she was young, so she puffed up her chest and said. Where am I young? Sha Shui smiled and shook her head, not taking Ling Long seriously at all. The little one is quite cute. Little guy. Ling Long was like a powder keg with a fuse, and suddenly ran towards Sha Shui like the wind. A left swing followed by an uppercut hit Sha Shui hard. Above her head, the yellow title, an agile and angry Barbie, was so bright that it glowed. Sha Shui didn't expect that there would be such a huge amount of energy in her exquisite little body. Caught off guard, he received two punches, and one eye immediately became bruised. The members of the Blue Elephant Guild beside him couldn't help but exclaimed. The barrage also started to flood the screen crazily. You read that right, Sha Shui was beaten. My eyes are all blue and I feel distressed. There is no need to feel bad about your ability. The dignified first female warrior of the Blue Elephant Guild was actually dazzled by an unknown little girl. Sha Shui could not bear this kind of humiliation. In a rage, he began to launch a crazy counterattack against Ling Long. Above Sha Shui's head, a title suddenly changed. An angry woman. Lu Sheng clicked on the details of the title entry. Title entry. Angry from shame. Attribute details. In the angry state, strength plus 20%, critical hit rate plus 20%, physical strength minus 20%. My sister gets so hairy that she even scares herself. Judging from the titles above their heads alone, Sha Shui's attribute bonus is not as good as Ling Long's. Lu Sheng relaxed a little. On the PK stage, Sha Shui's offensive was like a tidal wave, chasing Ling Long with punches. Ling Long relied on her agile body skills to always resolve the punches one by one. What Lu Sheng didn't expect was that Ling Long's boxing skills should not be underestimated either. He can often spot the opening of the opponent's punch and quickly respond with a combination of punches. Not long after, Sha Shui gradually became exhausted. The speed of punching and running has slowed down. However, Ling Long was still as light as a swallow and was about to gain the upper hand. Sha Shui was getting more and more anxious. If she continued like this, she would become the first guild member to lose today. If she really lost in the end, she could foresee how she would be scolded by the barrage. You can fight like this with an amateur. Sure enough, you are still Ten Chu Chenge short of the grade A level. One person lowered the level of a guild. This shows how difficult Shuao is usually. Trash, get out of here. Sha Shui absolutely cannot let that happen. With a thought in her mind, a dark yellow drop-shaped prop appeared in her hand. With a flick of his finger, the yellow water droplets fell to Ling Long's feet. 
Sha Shui did this little trick very secretly, but the bright yellow title on it still caught Lu Sheng's eyes. Item name. Little Butter. Prop Rating. Excellent, C. Introduction to the prop. A small thing that can instantly reduce the friction between contact objects to zero. Due to its volatile nature, it often lasts only a few seconds, so there is no need to leave any clues. Lu Sheng looked at the introduction to the props and quickly shouted, Be careful. However, it was still a step too late. Ling Long stepped on the little butter without any precautions. She suddenly felt the soles of her feet slipping, and then it was difficult to stand firm no matter how hard she tried. A smile finally appeared on Sha Shui's face, and the combination of punches she had accumulated for a long time hit Ling Long's face accurately and powerfully. He knocked her away far away. This change happened so suddenly that even the instructor on the side was stunned for a while before speaking out. Sha Shui wins this round. The members of the Blue Elephant Guild who were standing by suddenly swarmed forward, surrounded Sha Shui, and cheered loudly. Lu Sheng, who witnessed all this, couldn't help but said in a deep voice. Members of a dignified guild actually have to cheat to win. Who are you talking about cheating? The members of the Blue Elephant Guild immediately surrounded Lu Sheng and the others. If you can't beat someone, just accuse others of cheating. Who is the shameless person? Lu Sheng looked at Sha Shui with a cold face. Didn't you just throw the little butter? Sha Shui's face suddenly turned red, and she hid behind the crowd and never dared to speak. The members of the Blue Elephant Guild who stopped in front of her quickly shouted protectively. What props? Take them out and look at them. Say what you say is unfounded. Don't wrong others. A small amount of butter will evaporate in an instant. Of course, Lu Sheng can't provide any evidence at this moment. Seeing that Lu Sheng could not produce any evidence, Li Xuao stepped forward proudly and pulled Sha Shui into his arms. If our Blue Elephant Guild still cheats after beating you amateurs, we should simply disband. If your skills are inferior to others, don't show off your power. If you are not convinced, we can compete alone. Li Xuao's heroic act of saving the beauty immediately made the audience in the live broadcast room who didn't know the truth instantly become excited. It has to be Hao Shui CP, too sweet. Look at those little subconscious moves, these are the real lovers. When this week's mission is over, we will probably get back together again. Zhang Yu, who was in front of the TV, was suddenly shaking with anger. In her anger, she didn't even notice that the fat man who spoke was somewhat similar to her Lu Shang. She turned off the TV bitterly and ran back to the room angrily. You are so shameless, you dare to steal a man from me. Some people are just so weird. It is her man who is shameless, but he insists on blaming that woman. Lu Sheng looked coldly at the cheerful Blue Elephant Guild members in front of him and thought to himself. Since you care so much about winning or losing, why not let your ace team member stumble? He turned around and looked at Zhu Jojo beside him and said. Lao Zhu, he is your opponent, Li Xuao. Zhu Jojo was stunned for a moment, and then said coldly. That's just right. The old and new grudges can be resolved together. Li Xuao pushed Sha Shui away from his arms and looked at Zhu Jojo with an indifferent expression. For such an amateur to have any grudges with me, the showdown between us will be over soon. Following the crazy shouts of the Blue Elephant Guild, Zhu Jojo and Li Xuao quickly set up a confrontational stance on the competition stage. Lu Sheng glanced at the titles above their heads. What's on Li Xuao's head is a madman who is skilled in fighting. On Zhu Jojo's head is a muscular man with rough skin and thick flesh. Judging from the quality of the title alone, Zhu Jojo is not as good as Li Xuao this time. Judging from the scene of the two fighting, it was indeed Li Xuao who had the upper hand. Zhu Jojo had all his strength, but he couldn't use it. He was repeatedly hit by Li Xuao with his skilled fighting skills, and then quickly distanced himself to avoid his own counterattack. Although Zhu Jojo has rough skin and thick flesh, his physical fitness is higher than that of ordinary people. But under Li Xuao's constant blows, he gradually showed signs of fatigue. The popular young man of the Blue Elephant Guild still showed his true qualities well why he was able to complete 10 consecutive kills many times. However, Zhu Jojo's tenacity exceeded Li Xuao's expectations. The two fought for nearly 15 minutes, but they still couldn't decide the winner. Li Xuao couldn't help but feel a little irritable. As soon as I came, I boasted about Heiko before starting the fight, 
so I wouldn't waste too much time on everyone. Secondly, although I have the upper hand now, if it drags on for a long time, my physical fitness will also be a problem. At this moment, Li Xuao finally found a flaw. He took advantage of the gap between Zhu Jojo's unstable punches and quickly detoured behind Zhu Jojo. First, he lowered his center of gravity and knocked Zhu Jojo down, and then used a crossbar to seal him firmly to the ground. The members of the Blue Elephant Guild immediately burst into applause. As long as nothing goes wrong, Zhu Jojo, who has his anti-joint suppressed, has no chance of winning. The cross is solid and we win. Xuao is still awesome, nothing to say. Being able to compete with Xu Hao till now, this big guy is pretty good. On the ground, Zhu Jojo gritted his teeth and was still trying his best to get rid of Li Xuao's control. However, Li Xuao used the strength of his hands, feet and core to lock him tightly and not give him any chance to counterattack. Time passed by minute by second. Unless Zhu Jojo had innate supernatural power, if he persisted, Li Xuao would only have his arm broken. Just when everyone in the Blue Elephant Guild thought that Li Xuao was a sure winner, Lu Sheng suddenly took action. Since you can cheat, won't I? My cheating method is not only better than yours, but also more subtle than yours, and my flaws will never be revealed. He quickly gave Zhu Jojo the title of incomparably powerful. This title that allows him to defeat the fighting instructor is replaced by the tall Zhu Jojo. You can imagine how amazing the effect is. Li Xuao, who originally thought he was sure of victory, was suddenly lifted up by Zhu Jojo. Then he turned over and slammed Li Xuao to the ground. Li Xuao's internal organs suddenly trembled with pain, but he couldn't lie down on the spot because Zhu Jojo's next fist was hitting him. Li Xuao turned around and rolled aside in great embarrassment. Zhu Jojo's fist landed exactly where he had just lay. A marble floor was actually cracked by the smashing. Li Xuao took a breath of surprise and immediately touched the wound on his body, coughing repeatedly on the ground in pain. However, Lu Sheng had no intention of letting Li Xuao go. Whether it was because of the arrogant and domineering attitude of the Blue Elephant Guild just now, or because he happened to be Zhang Yu's contracted husband. Lu Sheng planned to borrow Zhu Jojo's hand and teach him a lesson. So he calmly gave Zhu Jojo the title of proficient in fighting. Now, Zhu Jojo's title has become a muscular man who is proficient in fighting. And Li Xuao's title is still a madman who is skilled in fighting. From the perspective of title attributes, proficiency in fighting corresponds to the entry-level level of the profession. And mastery in fighting corresponds to elite-level masters. But in the blink of an eye, Zhu Jojo's fighting skills surpassed Li Xuao by a large margin. The situation on the field instantly reversed. Zhu Jojo seemed to have an enlightenment, and one fighting technique after another quickly appeared in his mind. Ankle lock, triangle lock, guillotine, neck choke, anal fissure choke, heel hook. Coupled with his already tall figure, Zhu Jojo, who was promoted to a fighting elite, is simply more powerful than a fighting instructor. In less than a minute, he pinned Li Xuao firmly to the ground with a naked choke. At this time, both the barrage in the live broadcast room and the Blue Elephant Guild members beside him became silent. No one could believe that Li Xuao, the proud man of heaven, would be defeated by an amateur. Just when everyone was still secretly expecting Li Xuao to fight back and return as a hero, they saw Li Xuao feebly slapping the floor and shouting. I give up, I give up. The arrogant Li Xuao lost the personal PK match with Zhu Jojo in disgrace. The barrage in the live broadcast room has turned into a mess. Some people hurriedly came to protect the Lord and defend Li Xuao. Everyone knows that the winner has been decided just now at Cross GU, but Xu Hao is soft-hearted and was taken advantage of. Is this stupid guy's attack a bit serious? He almost injured Xu Hao. I've seen him unhappy for a long time, and finally got a chance to vent. Is there any mistake? This is a dungeon, and everyone has to give way to your brother. I still boast every day that I can catch up with the level of other Super Guild members. There are also those who analyze the entire situation objectively and calmly. To be fair, Xu Hao had the upper hand in the first half, but I don't know why the big man suddenly became so fierce. But the most impressive barrage is. I never expected that the only game the Blue Elephant Guild lost was to Li Xuao. Of course, the final result of the PK between the two teams was that Lu Sheng lost. 
The Blue Elephant Guild gained the power to choose the order of battle by virtue of its overall higher number of wins. And they undoubtedly chose to fight first. The one-day emergency training finally came to an end. Zhu Jojo still couldn't figure out how he won until he got out of the crowd. Ling Long looked at Zhu Jojo with admiration, her eyes filled with starlight. Were you angry because of me just now? Zhu Jojo's eyelids twitched and he took off Ling Long from his arm. You're overthinking it. I just can't stand those people from the guild. Then he patted Lu Sheng on the shoulder. Little dear, let's go. Go eat. Lu Sheng agreed with a smile and followed the two of them in a great mood. To say who gained the most on this day, of course it was Lu Shang. Not only did he teach Li Shuao a lesson, but he also gained a better understanding of his talent. It adds an extra layer of protection for him to survive in this dangerous dungeon world. Unknowingly, the time came to 9 p.m. The big tent before the expedition suddenly became solemn. Just now, news came from the front line again. The first wave of 10,000 vanguard troops following the Neja Mecca was once again lost in Wuji Mountain. It is said that the scene was quite tragic. This also forced the special service troops, who originally only carried out mopping up and battlefield cleanup work for the vanguard troops, to be dispatched in advance and shoulder the heavy responsibility of frontal combat. This also means that players who have signed a death battle agreement have a greatly increased risk of death. As long as Wuji Mountain cannot be captured, there will be no choice but to die in battle. 2115. New mission information popped up on the message panels of everyone in the area. Main mission update. Capture Wuji Mountain. Kill all the criminals and capture Sun Qishan alive. In the large tent in Dungeon 2, Liang Chu looked at the mission panel with a pale face. No. I've seen thousands of dungeon videos in the Research Association database, and none of the dungeons rated are that difficult. In fact, in his past knowledge, the missions of the Alien Beast Frenzy had already exceeded the difficulty level of A+. As a result, I never expected that the difficulty of the first main mission update after returning from rest would increase. Capture Wuji Mountain That was the Wuji Mountain where even the A-level heavy mecha giant spirit god and 50,000 advanced troops were wiped out. Thinking of this, Liang Chu couldn't help but sweat broke out on his forehead. Ji Yu Xiaoxiao crossed his arms on his chest, glanced at Liang Chu and sneered. Young Master Liang, downloading a dungeon is not as simple as sitting in the research room watching videos and taking notes. Accidents can happen here at any time, and you must be prepared to die in battle at any time. Luo Bishan added in a timely manner. We will arrive at Wuji Mountain in a while. Due to the chaotic situation at the scene, we may not be able to guarantee the safety of young Master Liang. You need to be more careful. Liang Chu's face turned green and white for a while. He glanced at Yang Yuyan in front of him and let out an unconvinced, hum. Who said I would only sit in the research room and watch videos? My actual combat ability is rated A plus in the research association. I am fully qualified to be the main member of a super guild. Ha! That's best, Ji Yu Xiaoxiao responded with a half smile, and when Yang Yuyan turned to look at all the members of the Shengshen Guild, she quickly stood at attention. Yang Yuyan wore an exclusive red tight fitting armor this time, showing off her exquisite figure. Coupled with her innate cold and seductive temperament, it is thrilling and frightening at the same time. She looked at everyone and said loudly, Although our identities in the game are rookie warriors who have just become regular soldiers, in the real world we are members of the Shengshen Guild. We are iron-blooded warriors who have been tempered day and night, and have combat strength that far exceeds that of the vanguard. As captain, no matter how difficult or difficult the task is, I will never give up on you, and please don't give up on yourself. Yang Yuyan's words were both strong and soft, which made all the members of the Shengshen Guild high-spirited and shouted in unison. Clear, the barrages in the live broadcast room were like heavy snow drifting. Predator, son-in-law Shang Tian. Clear. At the same time, inside the headquarters building of the Global Game Research Association. President Ji Mo and all the vice presidents all looked at the copy videos of several major super unions with solemn expressions. Shiri Ishii, the vice president in charge of game strategy research, stood up and said. This time the difficulty rating of the dungeon far exceeds the original difficulty rating system, and the weekly tasks are also different from the original ones. They are presented in the form of a theme series for the first time. 
Our expert team believes that the overall structure of the game should have undergone huge changes from the past. Jimo tapped his fingers on the table and asked thoughtfully, Why is this happening? Shiraishi hesitated for a moment, then clicked on a folder called Confidential on the projection screen. We suspect that, as predicted by that person back then, one of the nine game producers on the Mander Game Project team has begun to die. Comma, comma, at 2130, Dungeon Area 104, in the recruitment square. Liu Sheng and Zhu Jojo sat in the cabin of a huge transport mecha. The cabin PA is playing pre-departure instructions. Dear soldiers of the escort team, our mecha is currently ranked 74th in the starting order. It is estimated that there are still 28 minutes until the mecha sets off. Fearless soldiers, please make sure to wear your airborne suit, fasten your seat belt, read the airborne instruction manual carefully, and wait for the mecha to set off. All members of the Tianhe Guard Command wish everyone a triumphant return. As soon as the radio sound ended, a thin man sitting opposite Lu Sheng and the others spat on the ground. Tisk, you're back in triumph, I'm probably going to donate it here this time. He tightened his seat belt, his eyes filled with stagnant water. The vanguard troops have all been wiped out. How can we half-baked warriors attack Shawuji Mountain? If I hadn't been tempted by 100 points this time, I would have downloaded this dungeon. Sitting next to him was a young man with a round face. He was so excited by the thin man's words that he couldn't help but shudder. Don't be so frustrated. This dungeon is rated A, so it shouldn't be so perverted. It is estimated that the main mission objectives will be changed midway. Hum, who knows? The thin man responded coldly, looked up at Lu Sheng and the others, and finally his eyes fell on Zhu Jojo. I just saw you teaching those guild people a lesson. I don't know where the wild guild is from, so arrogant. But you are really good, you can knock down professional players. Let me meet you. My name is Laiho. Let's form a team together after we get down soon. The thin man said, extending his fist towards Zhu Jojo. Zhu Jojo bumped his fist. Zhu Jojo, these two are my friends Lu Sheng and Linglong. Lai Hu then greeted Lu Sheng and the two. Hey, you brought a girl with you, your wife. Zhu Jojo said calmly, false, to complete the mission. Lai Hu showed a rare empathetic smile on his face. My name is Yuan Shuai. I am a professional security guard in the real world. I should be able to come in handy. I hope I can form a team with you. The round-faced young man next to Lai Hu also extended his hand. Zhu Jojo also extended his fist and touched him. When we get down, we'll take care of each other. A few people chatted for a while, and then the cabin announcement sounded again. Fellow Tianhe guardsmen, our mecha is about to set off. Please make sure again to fasten your seat belt and put on your airborne suit. The hatch is about to close. See you in the air. As the sound of the broadcast fell, the sound of a mechanical winch came from the rear of the cabin. The three-meter-high giant hatch slowly retracted under the rotation of the gears. Soon, there was a roar outside the cabin, and the transport mecha suddenly stood up, and then jumped into the depths of the sea of clouds. In the world below, there was a storm, thunder and lightning. The sky in the distance is illuminated by lightning from time to time, and dark clouds billow like dragons entering the sea. Inside the mecha, the lights went out and it was pitch black. No one spoke only the roar of the engine echoed in my ears. About two hours later, a middle-aged man's voice suddenly came from the wireless communicator behind everyone's ears. Hey, hey, can you all hear me? I'm your instructor Chong Ying. Since there are anti-aircraft artillery in the front area, our transport mecha can only fly here. Everyone needs to parachute to the ground and gather at location number 1404 below. Once again, be sure to wear a mask before entering the canopy. After arriving on the ground, go to location number 1404 to gather. Over. As soon as Chong Ying finished speaking, the cabin announcement sounded again. Fearless soldiers of the Tianhe Guards, please put on your mask and airborne suit. The hatch will be opened in 10 minutes. Please jump off in order of your seat number. You really want to jump down. Lai Hu cursed. I have to jump from the air without even a trial training. It's just crazy. I definitely won't jump. Before he finished speaking, a new message popped up in the message panels of all players. Main mission update. Capture Wuji Mountain. 
Please parachute to the ground and gather at location number 1404 before the countdown ends. Being late or not arriving will be regarded as defection and will be punished by instant killing according to the death battle agreement. Chapter 31 The sound of the winch turning came again from the tail of the Mecca. The huge three-meter-high iron door slowly fell with a roar. Strong winds and heavy rain swept through the entire cabin in an instant, and a soldier who had just unbuckled his seat belt was accidentally sucked out of the cabin. Lai Hu cursed loudly at the sky, but the curses quickly disappeared in the wind and rain. The cabin radio began to play landing instructions in a loop. Under the threat of the death fight agreement, no matter how reluctant they were, everyone could only line up and jump down one by one. Liu Sheng quickly came to the hatch and looked down at the world beneath his feet. It was pitch black, as if the endless abyss was staring at him. He took a deep breath, reviewed the instructions for using the landing suit in his mind, then released his hands and jumped out of the hatch. Ten seconds later, Liu Sheng fell into the sky. The world below gradually became clearer. He could vaguely see the majestic and endless boundless mountains, as well as countless laser fires flashing from time to time in the mountains. There are broken mechas and dead soldiers everywhere. With 1,000 meters left from the ground, Liu Sheng turned on the reverse propulsion device. The reverse drive motor roared crazily in the heavy rain, and Liu Sheng slowly fell to the ground. A minute later, he finally stepped onto the wet, muddy ground. However, before he could stand firm, Zhu Jojo's roar came from beside him. Mecha, run, run, three 10-meter-tall combat mechas suddenly appeared less than 50 meters behind Liu Sheng. Dense laser beams passed through the gaps between the trees and fell around Liu Sheng like raindrops. If you can't avoid the raindrops, you can't avoid the mecha's attack at this moment. This is obviously a conspiracy of sinners. They used aerial artillery to accurately calculate the location where the convoy would land, and then annihilated all the convoy members who landed like beating dogs in water. The dirt floor next to him was covered with convoy soldiers who had been shot through by lasers. Liu Sheng saw several corpses of soldiers wearing Blue Elephant Guild uniforms. The blood drained all over his body, and he looked at the sky with a pale face. This is actually an A-level copy. The same question appeared in the minds of every audience in front of the screen. Especially when he saw the guild member he liked closing his eyes permanently in front of him. That kind of cruelty and cruelty is like a dark cloud hanging over everyone's heart. Liu Sheng had no time to think, so he could only drag his heavy body and run forward with all his strength. Since it is a mission, it is possible to clear the level. But where is that possibility? Cave, there is a cave in front. As long as you hide in the cave, you can escape. Someone pointed at a looming hole not far away and shouted loudly. The remaining warriors who were still alive were immediately cheered up. That's right, the direction in which every corpse on the ground fell was pointing towards the dark hole. This is a temple escape type game. If you escape into the cave, you can live. If you can't escape, you can only die. The Blue Elephant Guild team that arrived first has already gone through it once, and it seems that at least half of them are dead. Now it's our turn. Lai Hu's hysterical voice sounded in Liu Sheng's ears. Sharp, harsh, it's heart chilling. Yuan Shuai on the other side suddenly lost his footing and fell hard to the ground, knocking him like a dog. It's over. This was the first thought that came to Yuan Shuai's mind. However, after three full seconds, he found that he was still breathing normally. What happened? Yuan Shuai quickly turned his head and found that Liu Sheng was blocking him. You saved me, are you okay? Yuan Shuai suddenly burst into tears. He simply couldn't believe that there were heroes in this world who sacrificed their lives to save others. Liu Sheng calmly picked up Yuan Shuai and pushed him hard from behind. Run quickly, don't fall again. Yuan Shuai ran forward on all fours, shouting. Remember, I, Yuan Shuai, owe you my life. Liu Sheng shook his head. What's the use of owing my life if you can't pay me back? The reason why he blocked the shot for Yuan Shuai just now was certainly not because he had any heroic plot. But because every time he was shot, it was not him who was injured, but the Mecha. This is what he finally remembered after being hit twice. He was wearing that mirror armor. Weapon name, mirror armor. Weapon rating, epic A. Weapon introduction, can refract attacks from all ray weapons. If you dare to shine a laser on you, you are hurting yourself. 
So Liu Shang's mental journey just now is actually very simple. Since the mecha's laser gun can't hurt him, it's better to save a few more people when it's convenient. It can be regarded as accumulating some good karma for oneself. As for whether to rely on the counter injury to the mecha to kill a carbine. This is definitely not something Lu Sheng would do. All extraneous moves mean additional risks. God will punish those who are self-righteous. All Lu Sheng has to do is to complete the task honestly, do his best, and survive. As for whether the fighting mecha can hit him or whether it will injure him, that is something the mecha should consider. After spending about five minutes longer than others, Lu Sheng finally ran to the entrance of the cave. At this time, dozens of people had gathered in front of the cave entrance. Zhu Jojo saw Lu Sheng at a glance and was as happy as a child who had found his toy. Yuan Shuai just said you saved him. I thought you couldn't come. It made me cry because of the sadness. Look at the tears in the corners of my eyes. Lu Sheng clearly saw two drops of rain falling on Zhu Jojo's face and sliding down his cheeks. Lao Zhu, why are your tears flowing from your hair? The conscience of heaven and earth is definitely tears. You can take it and taste it to see if it is salty. Ling Long built a pergola in front of her forehead with her hands, put her feet on it and looked into the distance. It's strange. The mecha that was sending laser beams flying all over the sky just now suddenly stopped moving. As soon as he finished speaking, a world broadcast suddenly appeared in front of all players. Congratulations to the player asterisk 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 in Area 104 for becoming the first player in the entire network to successfully kill three combat mechas. What? Someone killed the mecha. How can it be? The crowd in front of the cave entrance suddenly became excited. Everyone has experienced the situation just now. It's lucky to be alive. How could anyone be able to kill the mecha under such a hail of bullets? And what's even more amazing is that it was the asterisk 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 player in Area 104 who completed the first kill this time. It's right next to him, but he doesn't look like it to anyone. Someone couldn't help shouting, which great god is he? Stop hiding it and let the brothers worship him together. Lai Hu came to Zhu Jojo with an excited face. Master, is it you? Is it you? The live broadcast camera parked far away also cooperated and pointed the camera at Zhu Jojo's face. But Zhu Jojo shook his head with a confused look on his face. I ran much faster than you just now. Don't you know whether I killed the mecha? Hurry up and take the live broadcast machine away, lest I embarrass myself in front of the audience. That's right, that's right. Who could that be? Lai Hu glanced at Lu Shang and naturally looked elsewhere. Zhu Jojo quietly came to Lu Sheng and asked softly. Xiao Lu, is that you? Lu Sheng shook his head in confusion. No, if it were me, there would have to be some reminders. As he spoke, he clicked on his notification panel and suddenly discovered that there were two unread messages a minute ago. Kill reward. Congratulations on successfully killing three combat mechas, you will receive plus 60 points and plus 1,200,000 monetary reward. Reward for the first kill in the area. A key to the A-level battle mecha, please go to the designated location to engine the mecha. I, La, individual, wipe, it's really me. This result was far beyond Lu Sheng's expectation. Unexpectedly, with only the mirror armor, I actually killed three combat mechas by mistake. No wonder when I was almost running to the entrance of the cave, I suddenly felt like something was missing behind me. The emotion was like three mechas self-destructing. Looking at the A-class battle mecha key in the inventory, Lu Sheng couldn't help but feel dazed. There are very few people in this world who can own personal combat mechas. Just like before time travel, only the top rich would own their own private jets. The key is that this aircraft is not an ordinary Gulfstream, but the US President's Air Force One. This is not something you can buy just by having money. He must also be a general with a distinguished status and outstanding military achievements. Liu Sheng didn't know how big a ripple his achievement would cause in the outside world. All he knows now is that there are 40 minutes left in the countdown. If he cannot pass through the cave in front of him and reach the designated location number 1404 for the mission, he will gather. He would never be able to see what his A-class mecha looked like. So he quickly pushed Zhu Jojo and Linglong. We only have less than 40 minutes left. We don't know what dangers there are in the cave ahead, so we have to hurry up. 
Zhu Zhoujo nodded in agreement and shouted to Lai Hu and Yuan Shuai on the side. Let's go. No matter who this person is, if he can't reach the designated gathering position, he will die. Zhu Zhoujo's voice could be regarded as a wake-up call for everyone at the entrance of the cave. Everyone quickly took out their laser guns and followed Zhu Zhoujo and others into the cave. The cave is very large, more than 3 meters high and 10 meters wide. It was dark and cold inside, and only with the help of night vision goggles could I barely see what was going on inside the cave. The walls of the cave on both sides are also painted with horrific and evil paintings, with scarlet text written underneath. Everything looks very similar to the scene in the sewage pipe. We need organs, lots and lots of organs. Let them die so that we can live. My brother said that he went to complete a secret mission and never came back. Is he still alive? Never read these words. Close your eyes. Quick. Lu Sheng suddenly felt a chill in his heart. This last line of text was just written in blood. It should be a warning from the vanguard. Why can't I read these words? What will happen if you see it? While Lu Sheng was still thinking, he suddenly heard someone in the crowd shout. My partner is missing. The team that was moving forward cautiously stopped immediately. Lai Hu asked in a sharp voice. Who is missing? Why is he missing? I, I didn't see it. We were walking back to back. I suddenly felt the wind behind me and found that he was gone. Hell, isn't there even a sound? No, no, there was a cry in the man's voice. Don't cry, maybe I just got lost. Lai Hu cursed loudly, and the man immediately stopped sobbing. However, everyone knew in their hearts that there was only one road in the cave, and no one would get lost for no reason. Fear spread silently among the team, especially after seeing those bloody words on the wall. No one knows whether they will be the next to disappear. What secrets are hidden in the bloody words and patterns in the cave in front of me? Lu Sheng's mood became nervous unconsciously at this time. He inexplicably remembered the afternoon when he was taken to the sewage pipe by his subordinates. The pair of glowing green eyes and the guard soldier with the steel fork in his throat still pumping out hot blood suddenly felt a chill in his body. At this moment, Yuan Shuai, who was walking beside the three people, suddenly stood still. What's wrong? Lai Hu seems to be missing. What? Wasn't he walking beside you just now? Yes, but just now, when I wanted to turn around and look for him, I found that he was gone. There was no sound of struggling at all. At this time, Zhu Jojo did not dare to go any further. What is in this cave? Mutated beasts are criminals. It can't be a mutant beast, because you are still fine. Quote dot 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 quote. If it was a criminal, how could he take the person away quietly? Especially Lai Hu, with his loud voice, how could he suddenly disappear without making any sound? This is a good question, but unfortunately no one knows the answer. Ling Long pointed at the cave wall and asked, Did you look at the murals on the wall? I just saw a bloody letter on the wall, which said you must not read the writing on the wall. Why didn't you tell me earlier? I was almost entranced just now. I thought you all saw it. Only then did Lu Sheng realize that the title above Zhu Jojo had changed to a soul living person who got a little bit of fragrance. Lu Sheng was taken aback and shouted quickly. Lao Zhu. Zhu Jojo quickly turned his head. What's wrong? Did you find anything? Lu Sheng looked into his eyes, which were clear in black and white, and there seemed to be nothing strange about them. Are you okay? Zhu Jojo looked at Lu Sheng blankly. I'm fine. Why do you ask so suddenly? It's okay. I'm just afraid that you might disappear suddenly. Zhu Jojo shrugged. With my physique, I can't be easily taken away. Lu Sheng did not answer, but reached out and clicked on the title details of Soul Living Person. Title Entry Soul Leaving Man. Attribute Details Half here, half there, half dreaming and half awake, the body chases the soul. Are you inexplicably reminded of a scene you have seen before? That's because your soul is already there. Three drops of fingertip blood can recall your soul. Whether to copy this title will cost 30 ladder points. Lu Sheng suddenly felt a chill in his heart. Just now, I inexplicably remembered the scene of meeting a subordinate. Could it be that he also got some Sushong and became a soul living person? Lu Sheng had to admit that the scene he just recalled was very real. The common people, the green-eyed warriors, and the bleeding warriors are all vivid in my mind. It was as if I had really returned to that moment. 
Even the conversations between several people are so real. There's no reason for you to be dumped countless times because you look like this. Looking at your body shape, I thought you must have a chubby face, but I didn't expect you to be quite handsome. Shut up. Where is this place? Why are you here? Why are you complimenting each other? Can you respect us? Comma. Wrong. Liu Sheng quickly took out a dagger from his waist and made a cut on three of his fingers. The excruciating pain suddenly woke him up from his memories. At this moment, he suddenly realized that he had pushed open a small door on the stone wall, and most of his body had already gotten in. Liu Sheng suddenly realized that there was actually a secret door hidden in the seemingly solid stone wall. And the reason why those soldiers disappeared silently was because they pushed the door in while hallucinating. Liu Sheng felt frightened and quickly raised his head to look at the other people. Yuan Shuai is gone, Linglong is gone, Zhu Jojo is still there. But the whole person was getting closer and closer to the stone wall, and then suddenly his body flashed, and a big man of 1.9 meters disappeared out of thin air on the spot. Liu Sheng was shocked and hurried to the place where Zhu Jojo disappeared and checked the traces on the stone wall. With what he had just experienced, he knew that Zhu Jojo must have entered a small door nearby. Liu Sheng opened his palm and ran it across the cold stone wall from top to bottom, looking for the catch of the secret door. When he finally touched the eye of a certain mural, a small door opened with a whoosh, and most of Liu Sheng's body was sucked in. At a glance, he saw Zhu Jojo walking alone in the narrow corridor. Liu Sheng thought for a moment and then quickly followed, pretending to be suffering from soul leaving syndrome. After walking about 50 meters, the two came to a relatively spacious oval space. There were two people sitting inside, one was younger and the other was older. Although both of them had yellowish complexions, they were obviously much stronger than the servants they met before. The young criminal was obviously surprised when he saw Lu Sheng following Zhu Jojo. Why did two people come in this corridor? The older sinner said in a high voice. I guess they missed the previous one and came in through this one. It's not a big deal, just lock them up first. The young criminal responded, glanced at Lu Sheng and Zhu Jojo viciously, and said in a hoarse voice. Follow me, the exit of the copy is right in front. Zhu Jojo turned around obediently and followed the young criminal. Lu Sheng continued to pretend to be separated from the soul and followed him. The young criminal led the two of them through a long, cold corridor until they came to a dimly lit cell. In fact, it couldn't be called a prison cell, at most it was a pile of iron animal cages. There were still mottled blood stains on the cage door. There are already many people locked inside. Liu Sheng used the corner of his eye to draw across the iron cage beside him. All are soldiers of the Tianhe guards. He even saw an acquaintance among them. Chu Chang'e and Li Xuao from Blue Elephant Guild. To be precise, the entire Blue Elephant Guild surviving members were all locked up here. And looking at the expressions on these people's faces, they all still haven't woken up from the soul-leaving syndrome. Liu Sheng and Zhu Jojo were locked in an empty iron cage. There were also blood stains on the four walls of the cage, but fortunately these blood stains had dried up and there was no fishy smell of blood. The young criminal threw the two men into the iron cage and turned around and left. When passing by the cell door, Liu Sheng heard him chatting with the guard. There are so many fresh organs this time, and everyone's diseases have been cured. How about you? How many parts do you need to replace? Hey, don't mention it. Ever since I was put down, my kidneys have failed and are full of stones. This place is really not a place for people to live. Bear with it a little longer, and when everyone has new organs this time, we can go back to the sky and let the people above have a taste of what it's like down here. Cough 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 cough. I don't know if it was because of excitement, but the guard coughed violently. Finally took a breath, thanks to the boss this time, so many escorts were eliminated. HMPH, when the boss was in the Sky City, these losers from the escort team couldn't defeat him. Now that he's in his own mountain, how can they be his opponents? We can't take it lightly. There are still some powerful mechas in the Sky City. Are you talking about the SS level super mecha with three eyes? It has been in the warehouse for many years. Not many people know how to open it. The two were chatting animatedly when the older sinner also walked in with the sole living person. He glanced at the young criminals who were chatting and muttered dissatisfiedly. You keep chatting, 
and you haven't come back for so long, so I have to make a trip myself. The young criminal curled his lips and quickly turned around and walked back the way he came. The older sinner brought the soul leaving man to Lu Sheng's prison. Through the dim light in the cage, Lu Sheng could see clearly that the person brought in this time was actually Ling Long. After Ling Long was put into the cage, she squatted in a corner of the cage. After the older sinner left, she suddenly stood up and came to Zhu Jojo. Lu Sheng was secretly surprised. Ling Long is actually awake. Lu Sheng pretended to be suffering from soul separation syndrome and did not call out to Ling Long. Ling Long ignored Lu Sheng and focused all her attention on Zhu Jojo. At this time, Zhu Jojo started talking nonsense, muttering from time to time. My heart is cold and my heart is flying, lay by. It seems that he is also recalling the scene of the last dungeon, and has already reached the part of the beast craze. Ling Long touched his face for a while, then opened his eyes and looked at him. Then he patted his chest, breathed a sigh of relief and said. Okay, okay, nothing's wrong. Immediately afterwards, Lu Sheng saw an astonishing scene. Ling Long straightened up and kissed Zhu Jojo gently on the mouth. I, got it, wipe it. Lu Sheng seemed to have countless alpacas galloping past in his heart. It's already so difficult, why do you have to feed yourself a dose of dog food? What's even more outrageous is that Zhu Jojo actually kept spitting with a look of disgust on his face. What a strange beast, he actually licked my face with saliva. Ling Long let out a hum and sat back across from the two of them again. Although his lips were curled up, his eyes were full of smiles, and he stared at Zhu Jojo intently. Although you don't remember me, you are quite cute now. Lu Sheng suddenly felt confused. Don't you two obviously know each other? In the next 10 minutes, people kept being sent in. All are teammates of the same transport mecha as Lu Sheng. It looked like the entire army had been wiped out and everyone was captured. At this time, the medicinal properties of Diane Sushong slowly dissipated, and someone in the iron cage woke up dizzily. Where are we? Wasn't I resisting the beast tide just now? How come suddenly? Captain, are you there too? Chu Chenge suddenly opened his eyes. He was also surprised when he saw the animal cages around him. Oops, we're probably drugged. Where's Shuao? As long as he's still outside, he will definitely come to save us. Captain, Shuao is here. Li Shuao, who was curled up next to Chu Chenge, suddenly woke up and sat up when he saw the iron cage. How did I get caught? Where is the live broadcast? Is it still on? Is the way I was caught just now captured? Quote dot 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 quote. Shu Hao, the live broadcast machine has long disappeared. There is no live broadcast here. Ha, huh, that's okay. Li Shuao immediately breathed a sigh of relief. On Lu Sheng's side, Zhu Jojo finally came back to his senses, glanced at the iron cage, and said a greeting. Where is this? Ling Long said with a smile. Brother Zhu, you're awake. Zhu Jojo glanced at Ling Long, then at Lu Shang, and sighed. Unexpectedly, we were still arrested, but I can't figure out how we were arrested. Before Lu Shang could speak, Ling Long had already answered. It's Su Shang. You've been poisoned by Su Shang. How did you know? Because I wasn't poisoned. I came in on my own. You're not poisoned, so what are you doing here? Zhu Juli immediately said angrily. You're a brat, you're a brat, and you still think this is a joke. Ling Long seemed to hate the word, little brat, and immediately puffed up her chest and said. Tell me, where am I young? Zhu Jojo waved his hands impatiently, and then heard Lu Sheng ask. Ling Long, how did you know we were poisoned? It's the blood stains on the wall. They put some incense powder on the blood stains on the wall. Ling Long looked at Lu Sheng seriously and said, I had been thinking about what that warning meant, so I ran to the stone wall to take a look, and then I discovered their secret. But when I came back, I found that you were all gone. Lu Sheng suddenly realized, no wonder he thought about it all the way and didn't think of a place where he could be poisoned. It turned out to be in the painting on the stone wall. Then why aren't you poisoned? I'm hit. Ling Long said as she stretched out her finger. To get out of the memory, you need to cut three fingers. Among my 20 general knowledge test questions, there were four questions about making crispy incense, so I happened to know about it. After speaking, he looked at Zhu Jojo with his hands on his hips. Do you still think I'm a brat now? 
since everyone started to wake up, no new people have entered the cell for a long time. Chu Chang'e, the captain of the Blue Elephant Guild, glanced in the direction of the cell door and said. The guard has disappeared, it must be the time the copy left for us to escape. There are only 15 minutes left before the countdown ends, we have to find a way out. However, as soon as he finished speaking, a large amount of white smoke suddenly appeared from all sides of the prison, filling the entire cell in an instant. This is not a time to escape from trouble at all, this is clearly a way for the criminals to prepare to kill them. Lai Hu shouted in panic. It's poisonous smoke, they want to poison us. Ling Long said calmly. Don't panic, they want our organs, so they won't poison us. Lai Hu breathed a sigh of relief. Then what is this cigarette? It's the gas emitted by liquid nitrogen. They want to freeze us to death. Only in this way can the organs be kept as fresh as possible. If processed well, they can even be stored for several years, just like frozen pork. Lai Hu was so frightened that he fell to his knees and burst into tears. What's the difference between this and poisoning us? The difference is that we can live 10 minutes longer. In the iron cage of the Blue Elephant Guild, Sha Shui pushed the cage door hard and said anxiously. The iron cage door is very hard and it is not easy to break it. HMPH, get out of the way, I'll do it. Li Shuao took out a laser knife from the equipment slot, made a cut on his hand, and then cut it on the cage. However, the iron cage door did not change at all even after being cut by the ultra-high temperature laser knife. Li Shuao's face immediately drooped. What's going on? The laser knife can't cut through this iron pillar. Chu Chang'e stepped forward, knocked on the iron pillar with his hand, frowned and said. I'm afraid this is tungsten steel. The melting point is around 3,400 degrees. An ordinary laser knife cannot cut it. What should we do? When Li Shuao heard that it was difficult to cut with the laser knife, he immediately threw the knife aside in annoyance. Chu Chang'e was upset at this time. He glanced at Li Shuao complainingly and couldn't help but said, You are always so impetuous. We were in the cave just now. If you hadn't run forward regardless, we wouldn't have all been caught here. Li Shuao frowned and stared at Chu Chang'e. If it weren't for me, you would all have died under the beast tide. Fart, that's a team win. Victory of the team. So now you rely on the team to open the cage door. Under the threat of death, all the dissatisfaction and grievances in everyone's hearts burst out. Seeing that the two of them were arguing, Sha Shui hurriedly spoke out to persuade. Okay, you two, stop arguing. Time is running out. Let's hurry up and think of a way to get out. What else can I do? Just wait until death. Li Shuao sat down on the floor of the cage, staring blankly outside the cage. Unwilling to give up, Chu Chang'e took out a laser pistol from the equipment slot and fired at the cage. But with little success. At this time, the temperature in the cell was getting lower and lower, and the shadow of death hung in everyone's mind. Zhu Jojo was also pacing back and forth anxiously. He suddenly turned his head to look at Ling Long and said angrily. Just because you, a little brat, had to come over to join in the fun, now you're going to die with me. Ling Long shrank his neck and sat on the ground with his knees curled up, but there was no fear in his eyes. At worst, there will be another life, let's get to know each other sooner. That's crazy. While everyone was becoming restless as death approached, Lu Sheng seemed extraordinarily calm. Zhu Jojo was so calm that he even doubted whether he was gone. Hey, are you still alive? Lu Sheng was shivering with cold, but he said with determination. He's alive, I'll take you out immediately. Zhu Jojo looked at Lu Sheng as if he were a madman. How long have you been bragging? If you can take us out, why don't you leave now? Give me another minute and I'll think about my plan after I go out. Lai Ho in the next cage couldn't help but tease. Fat man, there is no live broadcast camera here, so stop pretending. If you really have a way to take us out, I'll call you dad. Yes, I, Yuan Shuai, owe you another life. Good. Lu Sheng suddenly stood up from the ground, took out a stack of sticky notes and stuffed them into the hands of Zhu Jojo and Ling Long. After you go out in a while, stick these on other people's iron cages and you can get out of trouble. Zhu Jojo looked down at the posted note, then looked up at Lu Sheng. It's over, it's over. This child must have been frozen. He could have at least walked with some dignity, but now he has no dignity at all. 
Lai Hu was stunned for a moment, and then laughed like a self-mockery. What on earth was I expecting just now? Liu Sheng ignored the complaints of Zhu Jojo and others, but put a reverse restoration sticker on the cell door. Bang, bang, bang. A series of sounds immediately came from above the three people's heads. Immediately afterwards, a huge tungsten steel cage suddenly disappeared, leaving only black tungsten ore on the ground. Zhu Jojo and Linglong had no idea what was going on. They looked at Lu Sheng with horrified faces, unable to speak clearly. Ah this, ah this is. Lai Hu's excited scream came from the iron cage on the side. Dad, what kind of magic are you doing? Come and save the child. Lu Sheng pushed Zhu Jojo from behind. Time is running out, do as I say. The originally lifeless prison was suddenly filled with continuous, bang, bang, sounds. Those soldiers who had given up struggling suddenly looked up and found that the cages around them had mysteriously disappeared. They stood up with shocked faces and looked at each other in surprise. At this time, Chu Chenge was the first to react and shouted immediately. The cage is gone, everyone, grab your weapons and rush out with me. Almost out of instinct, all the soldiers in the cell ran wildly out of the cell with the joy of surviving the disaster. Ling Long and Zhu Jojo were also about to run out with the others, but found that Lu Sheng was left behind alone, shivering while concentrating on picking up the black tungsten ore on the ground. How long has it been since this happened, and you still have the energy to pick up rocks? Lu Sheng shuddered and said, There's a fight going on outside right now. It's quite dangerous. Let's go out later. As expected, the Tianhe guardsmen who rushed out of the dungeon met the criminals guarding outside. When the two parties meet on a narrow road, a fierce battle is inevitable. Li Xuao relied on his own ability to kill ten times in a row again. The heavily armed criminals were equally ferocious, and the escort quickly lost a lot of soldiers. All of a sudden, swords flashed and flesh and blood flew everywhere. If you don't pay attention, you will be strangled in place by laser bombs and air cannons. When Lu Sheng and the other five rushed out, the corridor outside the dungeon was already filled with the corpses of the guards and criminals. A brutal fight seemed to have just ended. Lu Sheng and the other four people quickly ran to the meeting point of the mission and caught up with the Blue Elephant Guild without firing a shot. At this time, Lai Hu and Yuan Shuai were already admiring Lu Sheng. The joy of surviving the disaster made Yuan Shuai say a long list of rare words of praise. With courage and strategy, wisdom and courage, and a heart of compassion and love, you are the reincarnation of the King of Soldiers and the return of the God of War. At this time, the live broadcast had resumed on the TV screen, and Yuan Shuai's expression of gratitude fell into the eyes of the audience in the live broadcast room. Who is he grateful to? Li Xuao, who else can it be? Li Xuao, Chu Chenge and others went through all the obstacles and finally led everyone from the Blue Elephant Guild to the designated gathering place. Lu Sheng and others took a ride and completed the task before the last minute. A new task message popped up in the notification bar. Main mission update. Capture Wuji Mountain. Support the frontline troops and arrive at the criminal base. Li Xuao had just completed another wave of 10 consecutive kills, and now his confidence was greatly increased. It seems like it's not a big deal for the guilty people. The task is much easier than imagined. Everyone, follow along. I will take you to get the first credit. Chu Chang'e reminded him. Shu Hao, we just killed the guards of the sinners. We haven't met their regular troops yet, so we can't take it lightly now. Li Xuao yawned. I know, I know. At this time he saw Zhu Jojo in the crowd. Hey, I saw it just now. You guys have been following us secretly. Why, do you want to get something for nothing? Let's be clear first. We will go to the criminal stronghold in a while. We will go our separate ways. Don't try to take advantage of us again. Sha Shui gently pulled the corner of Li Xuao's clothes. Forget Xu Hao, we are all players, and we may need to help each other in the future. Do I need their help? Li Xuao rolled his eyes at Sha Shui. We can't give them any advantage anyway. Zhu Jojo's face turned red with anger, thinking that if it weren't for us, you would be nothing more than a popsicle now. But he didn't like being exposed to the live broadcast camera either, so he swallowed his breath and walked to the other end of the assembly point. Meeting point number 1404 is an open flatland, and beyond that is a high mountain. The mountain was pitch black, 
but the sound of gunfire and the roar of soldiers could be faintly heard. The frontline battlefield is close at hand. All the soldiers of the Special Service Force were cautious, holding laser guns and wearing night vision masks and walked cautiously into the mountains. The sound of gunfire and shouts in the woods grew closer. It seems to be far faster than their advancement speed. What happened? Zhu Jojo and Lu Sheng looked at each other, and then they saw a guard soldier running towards them in a very embarrassed manner. Hey, brother, what happened up front? Zhu Jojo's roar made the man startled. After seeing clearly that it was one of his own, the man shouted in a hoarse voice. The front line was defeated. Those people are devils. They don't care about their own lives at all. They just want us to die. Everyone is retreating now, retreating into the cave first. Zhu Jojo frowned. Don't you care about the life and death agreement? If you flee, you will be shot on the spot. The man looked at Zhu Jojo with a blank expression. What kind of life and death agreement? We didn't sign it. Lai Hu was stunned for a moment, then cursed loudly. The command center is using us newcomers as cannon fodder. The guard soldier suddenly understood. He immediately pointed his gun at Zhu Jojo and the others, and raised his voice and shouted. You are not allowed to retreat. If you do, I will kill you. After saying this, he turned back three times and retreated to the cave. It's not a thing. Zhu Jojo looked at the soldier's back and spat on the ground. Lu Sheng raised his voice and asked. Hey, you haven't said who those devils are yet. Second master of Wuji Mountain, Niu Pingtian's Demon King's army. Lu Sheng and others never expected that they, who were originally responsible for the aftermath as a special service unit, would somehow become the vanguard and the ace division that was about to face the criminals. At this moment, they had signed a life and death agreement and were in a dilemma. They could only watch the artillery fire getting closer and closer to them. The barrage was full of curse words. This dungeon is too much. Isn't it clear that everyone is going to die? What should Shuao and the others do? I'm so sad now. More and more frontline soldiers passed by Lu Sheng and others. The fire from laser guns and air bombs fell in front of everyone in an instant. Lu Sheng and Zhu Jojo quickly found a bunker and hid. Zhu Jojo took out the large caliber laser cannon from the equipment slot and put it on his shoulder. Lu Sheng placed a bunch of high voltage grenades on the ground. Lai Hu and Yuan Shuai looked at Lu Sheng dumbfounded. Fat man, is your family in the arms business? Lu Sheng waved to the two of them very proudly. You can use what you have on the ground as you like. If it's not enough, I'll have more. Of course Lai Ho and Lai Ho looked in disbelief, but Lu Sheng really wasn't bragging. In addition to the 50 or so pills on the ground, he also had 2,060 pills in his backpack. They're coming, Ling Long shouted calmly and actually took out a large caliber laser cannon from the equipment slot and put it on her shoulder. Above her head, a line of bright yellow titles suddenly appeared. A powerful King Kong Barbie. Brother Zhu, let's have it as a couple. Ling Long blinked at Zhu Jojo, then pointed at the criminals in the distance and shouted. Bright and cool, lay by. This Libi command made Lu Sheng praise the designer for his thorough consideration. Different laser cannons correspond to different firing commands. This logic is rigorous. Amidst the continuous thunderous sounds from Zhu Jojo and Linglong, one after another thick laser beams blasted towards the distance. Liu Sheng and the others were not idle either, and kept throwing high-voltage grenades in the direction of the criminals. Dozens of grenades exploded in the mountains and forests, illuminating the mountains in front of Liu Sheng and others as bright as day, as if an arsenal had exploded. Everyone in the Blue Elephant Guild on the other side of the mountain was dumbfounded when they saw the scene of gunfire here. Chu Chang'e patted the shoulder of a team member next to him. Go and see what's going on. After a while, the team member ran back panting. Captain, you may not believe it. There are people over there throwing high-voltage grenades like jelly beans. Just like pea shooter in Plants vs. Zombies. Liu Sheng's dense artillery fire suppressed everyone in the Blue Elephant Guild. In order to avoid the artillery fire, the soldiers of the Demon King's army began to rush towards the direction where they were hiding. Everyone in the Blue Elephant Guild also experienced what it means for these people to be like devils. Because all the soldiers in the Demon King's army no longer feel pain. As long as they could still breathe, even if they were shot through the abdomen by a laser cannon and their intestines flowed all over the floor, they would still continue to rush forward like mad dogs. 
No wonder so many vanguard troops died in Wuji Mountain. What they faced was clearly no longer human, but tireless zombies. Sha Shui shouted anxiously, Captain Chu, there are too many people on the other side, and our firepower can no longer suppress them. Chu Chang'e glanced at the swarming army of criminals in front, and felt a chill in his heart. Attack while retreating, looking for the next bunker. This time, Li Xuao rarely choked and retreated slowly with everyone else. At this moment, a group of particularly tall figures appeared among the criminal army. The average height is over 2.5 meters, and their naked upper bodies are covered with various artillery pieces and ammunition. Every step forward will cause the ground beneath your feet to shake. Some soldiers who retreated from the front line shouted in horror. It's Niu Pingtian and his bodyguards. The lava guns in their hands are over 3,000 degrees Celsius and can even melt mechas. Our mechas were all killed by them. We must not confront them head on. However, as soon as everyone finished speaking, these giants suddenly took big steps and started running. They're coming. The soldier who retreated from the front line screamed and fainted from fright. The dust is flying in the mountains and forests, and the giants are walking as fast as flying. The distance between the two sides is rapidly shortening at a speed visible to the naked eye. Get out, get out, get out. At this time, everyone in the Blue Elephant Guild no longer cared about the life and death agreement. They all ran towards the cave behind them with all their strength. Those warriors who were left at the end could already feel the scorching air waves coming from behind them. The tense atmosphere made everyone in front of the TV sigh. It was very rare that there was not a single barrage on the screen in the live broadcast room. This is the true speed of life and death. Niu Pingtian's personal guards quickly caught up with the guards who were running at the end. The lava gun spit out tongues of fire and engulfed them in an instant, leaving no bones or dregs behind. A one-sided massacre unfolded in the woods. Many relatives and friends of amateur players have witnessed the cruel scene of them being melted into fly ash by the lava gun on the TV screen. The huge strength gap makes it impossible to see the hope of victory. What should we do? What should Xuao and the others do? Is it really going to be donated here this time? Lu Sheng and others also attracted the attention of the giants. The three giants left the guards team and ran towards Lu Sheng and others. Lai Hu and Yuan Shuai were immediately frightened. Pick up the high voltage grenades on the ground and throw them out three or four. However, high pressure grenades, which are effective against ordinary criminals, have no effect on giants. Because while they were still in the air, they were already melted by the flames of the lava gun. Run away, we are no match for them. Lai Hu screamed and ran down the mountain on both hands and feet. Yuan Shuai glanced at Lu Sheng hesitantly, gritted his teeth, and chased after Lai Hu. Fat man, I owe you two lives. I'll pay you back next time. Zhu Jojo pushed Ling Long and Lu Sheng behind him. I'll hold them back, you run away first. Lu Sheng looked at the giants running towards them at great speed and said calmly. It's useless, there's no escape. Zhu Jojo frowned slightly and pointed the laser cannon at the face of one of the giants. Since you can't escape, let's find someone to support you. The distance between the giant and Lu Sheng was less than 50 meters. The strong sense of oppression made them deeply feel that death was coming. Zhu Jojo took a deep breath and was about to shout out what might be the last cry in his life, my heart is cold, my heart is flying, lay by. At the critical moment, two figures, one black and one white, suddenly appeared in front of the three giants. The white man is tall and lean, and wears a long hat with the words, make money at first sight, written on his head. He is short and black, with a big belly. He also wears a high hat on his head with the words, peace in the world, written on it. Bai Wuchang looked sleepy and stretched out in front of the giant. Hei Wuchang picked his teeth and turned to look at Bai Wuchang. Bye bye, come out. Ah, Xiao Hei, Long time no see. How are you doing? Hey, don't mention it. Did you read the notice? It said that overtime pay and meal subsidy will be cancelled in the future. You said that you want to quit now that you are living your life. Then you should pay more attention to your health, don't work as hard as before, it's time to rest. The two men, black and white, looked timid as they dragged Jia Chong through the woods amid heavy gunfire. Zhu Jojo and Ling Long couldn't help but look at each other. Who are they? The three giants opposite also looked at each other. Who the hell are these two? 
Even the giant and Zhu Jojo looked at each other. What are these two doing here? Only Liu Shang on the side was waving and jumping around desperately, trying to attract the attention of black and white Wuchang. After all, summoning black and white impermanence costs 100 points per minute. Liu Shang now only has 308 points left, which is enough to allow them to come out for three minutes. Hei Wuchang finally noticed Liu Shang, who was yelling hard, and patted Bai Wuchang on the shoulder. Bye bye, it seems we have taken the order. Ah, I know, I just saw it. But I checked that guy's points, and they were over 300 points. He was out for no more than three minutes in total, and we just got by while chatting. Oh, that's right too. Liu Sheng was dumbfounded as he watched the two men, black and white, blatantly discussing how to fish at work in front of him. I felt anxious like a poor young man taking an international long-distance call. Seeing the points in the attribute panel falling down, tears also flowed into my heart. Fortunately, Hei Wuchang finally realized his conscience and advised Bai Wuchang on the side. After all, you have to take points from people, and you have to do something. If you don't really sue the old man, we won't be able to explain it. Okay, it's just a few points, it's really not worth going to work overtime. Bai Wuchang turned his head and looked at Liu Sheng pitifully. Boy, tell me, who do you want to take away? Liu Sheng breathed a long sigh of relief and pointed at all the criminals in front of him. Those people, can you? Hei Wuchang shook his head. If you can't finish it in three minutes, you have to add points. Oh no, there are still two minutes left. Liu Sheng was anxious, his thoughts were racing in his mind, and he quickly pointed at the giant in front of him. Then these giants, all the giants, that's all. Giant, Bai Wuchang turned to look at Niu Pingtian's personal guards and counted them. 14, that's not much. What do you think of Xiao Hei? Hei Wuchang nodded. Okay, we've accepted this order, fixed price, 300 points. Good, that's it. Bye bye, leave these three to you, and leave the further ones to me. I've lost weight recently, and the doctor said I need to move more. As soon as Hei Wuchang finished speaking, he flew away lightly. Bai Wuchang didn't waste any time, and suddenly there were three more capsules in his hand. He weighed them in his hand, and then threw them towards the three giants. Go ahead, soul capsule. Three capsule-like things quickly flew to the top of the giants' heads, then split open in the middle, sucking in the souls of the giants one after another. Then, the soul capsule swayed back and forth in the air like a tumbler. Bai Wuchang bit his fingers and counted nervously. One, two, three, bingo. The soul capsule emits a burst of star-like light, then stops swinging and floats in midair. Capture successful, Bai Wuchang let out a burst of happy laughter and waved to the capsules, and three capsules flew back to his hand. Okay, now we just need to take them back. At the same time, the three giant bodies that had lost their souls collapsed in front of everyone. Liu Sheng looked at everything in front of him in stunned silence, feeling that Bai Wuchang's previous set of operations seemed familiar to him in the cartoon before the time travel. Is this okay? That's it. It only lasts for 10 seconds. Why don't we just accept those criminals as well? No, no, no. As agreed before, that's a different price. But it's a lot of time, so how about this, fat man, tell me your name, and I'll help you find out how many years of life you have left. Liu Sheng was so frightened that he waved his hands repeatedly. No more trouble, no more trouble, we can just deal with those criminals ourselves. Bai Wuchang nodded. Well, that's up to you. If necessary, I can also help check with your two friends. Anyway, it's just a matter of help. Zhu Jojo and Ling Long's faces suddenly turned livid, and they shook their heads repeatedly, turning their heads into rattles. At the other end of the Blue Elephant Guild, Niu Pingtian had already led his guards behind them. At this time, Li Xuao and others were still a full kilometer away from the cave. You will definitely not be able to escape if you run. Chu Chang'e shouted. The members of the Blue Elephant Guild obey the order, find cover, turn around and attack. Li Xuao took out the S-Class laser pistol from the equipment slot, turned over, and fired several shots at the giants. The ultra-high temperature laser beam quickly pierced the chests of the two giants, and blood instantly poured out of their chests. Li Xuao was secretly happy, but found that these giants seemed to be fine. Licking the blood that flowed from his chest, 
he continued to rush forward with a grin, not even slowing down his running speed. All the members of the Blue Elephant Guild were dumbfounded at this moment. If even Li Xuao's attack could be ignored, then today's battle would be doomed to disaster. Niu Pingtian, who was nearly three meters tall, looked down at the people in front of him and laughed heartily. It's just another group of ants that dare to attack Wuji Mountain. Let's all die. The lava gun waved wantonly in the air, melting the three members of the Blue Elephant Guild on the spot in the blink of an eye. Xiao Huang is dead. Xiao Lan is dead. Xiao Ji is dead too. There was a sudden whimper on the barrage, as if snowflakes were falling from the sky. Under the copy, no one is safe. This is a real and cruel world, where heroes are created and where heroes are bid farewell. Li Xuao and Chu Chang'e were both dumbfounded. At this time, they had no intention of fighting anymore and fell to the ground, their faces ashen. Niu Pingtian raised the lava gun in his hand again, and this time the person closest to him was Xia Shui. Is this the first female warrior of the Blue Elephant Guild going to say goodbye to everyone in this way? The barrage was filled with lamentations. I don't want to read it anymore. I'll definitely donate it. The soul of the Blue Elephant, my heart will last forever. The soul of the Blue Elephant, my heart will last forever. The soul of the Blue Elephant, my heart will last forever. Sha Shui closed her eyes gently, tears sliding down the corners of her eyes. She had been prepared for this from the moment she became a guild member. I just didn't expect that this day would come so quickly. The surroundings suddenly became completely silent, which was how it felt before death. At this moment, a sinister voice came from her ear. Niu Pingtian, if I call you, do you dare to agree? What did you say? The last sentence is the voice of Niu Pingtian. Sha Shui suddenly opened her eyes and saw a fat black man floating lightly in front of the giants. Niu Pingtian looked at the person in shock. Fat man, what did you just say? Sorry, that line wasn't mine. I'll try again. This time, a bunch of capsules suddenly appeared in the fat man's hand. He threw them forward hard and shouted. Go ahead, soul capsule. The capsules quickly flew to the heads of the giants, and then, just like before, they suddenly burst open from the middle, sucking in the souls of all the giants. Eleven capsules swayed neatly from side to side in the air. Hei Wuchang also shook his nails and counted down nervously. Three, two, one, bingo. This time, ten capsules emitted star-like rings of light and stopped shaking. Only the capsule containing Niu Pingtian cracked open again, and his soul returned to his body again. What a waste of an ordinary capsule. Hei Wuchang had a look of remorse on his face, and didn't pay any attention to Niu Pingtian, who had a look of fear on his side. At this time, Niu Pingtian, who had experienced an out-of-body experience, suddenly lost the arrogance he had just now. Pointing at the giants collapsed on the ground, he asked tremblingly. What did you just do to us? Hei Wuchang took out a blue capsule and replied calmly. Lock the soul, and then take you to see the king of hell. You are more powerful than them, and I have to use a high-grade capsule to take your soul away. Are you ready? Get ready, go to hell, you fat ass. Niu Pingtian suddenly raised the lava gun in his hand and hit Hei Wuchang with all his strength. Hei Wuchang ducked aside and threw the blue capsule out. No one told you that dead pigs are not afraid of being scalded by boiling water. Dead people are not afraid of being scalded either. The blue capsule split open on Niu Pingtian's head, sucking his soul in again with a swish. Niu Pingtian's soul struggled desperately in the blue capsule, but this time he couldn't break free from the shackles of the high-level soul capsule. After a while, accompanied by a star-shaped halo, the blue capsule also stopped swinging. Phew, I finally caught it. Hei Wuchang waved to the capsule, and the high-level soul capsule flew into his hand. Hei Wuchang stuffed the capsule into his arms, and then waved to the Blue Elephant Guild members on the ground. If we don't catch them today, I should take you away. Fortunately, there are few of them and there are many of you, so you don't have to work overtime. It's not a loss. I'll leave today. We'll see you next time. Hei Wuchang flew lightly in the direction of Lu Shang, leaving everyone in the Blue Elephant Guild sitting on the ground shivering in fear and daze. Is the one I saw just now Hei Wuchang? It shouldn't be possible. It's not a story system. Why does it appear here? But I clearly saw that he took away the soul. What does he mean by seeing you next time? 
Hei Wuchang returned to Lu Shang and raised the soul capsule in his hand towards him. The list is completed. Please remember to leave a favorable comment later. Lu Shang nodded quickly. Bye bye, how was my performance just now? You're not unfamiliar, right? It's not that great. If it were me, I wouldn't need a high level soul capsule. Bye bye, you just stand and talk without pain in your back. That Niu Pingtian's soul is much higher than others. Black and white Wuchang chatted nonchalantly, and then gradually disappeared into the ring on Lu Sheng's hand. Lu Sheng, who was heartbroken when he saw only eight points left on the personal attributes panel, and Zhu Jojo, who was stunned. Xiao Lu, is this your friend? Lu Sheng pointed to the ring on her hand. You can't even be called friends. They were summoned by the item in my hand. Oh, it's a prop. Zhu Jojo looked at Lu Sheng thoughtfully. I will definitely treat you well in the future. On the frontline battlefield, because Niu Pingtian was killed, the remaining criminals were immediately leaderless and scattered like birds and beasts. A very dangerous battle ended in such an unexpected way. Just when everyone was packing up their equipment and planning to continue to the sinner's stronghold, a new notification popped up. Dear players, due to the heavy losses on the front line, the S-Class Mechanesia has received a retreat order. At the same time, the City Lord's special envoy Jin Taibai has set off for Wuji Mountain to start a new round of peace talks with Sun Qishan, the leader of the Sinners. Main Mission Update Survive before Jin Taibai arrives for peace talks. Countdown 2 hours, 0 minutes and 0 seconds. The moment they saw the mission update, both the players under the dungeon and the audience in front of the screen breathed a sigh of relief. Yuan Shuai pulled Lai Hu and shouted excitedly. What am I talking about? A-level dungeons can't be that difficult. The main quests will definitely be adjusted. It's fine now, I just need to find a way to survive for two hours. Obviously the mission has not been completed yet, but all the survivors in Area 104 showed a relaxed expression of surviving the disaster. After all, capturing Wuji Mountain and surviving for two hours in Wuji Mountain are two tasks with vastly different difficulties. Although the difficulty of the current dungeon has far exceeded the previous A-level rating, fortunately, in the end, it has returned to a normal level. Sha Shui glanced at the other direction of the mountain with a complicated expression. That's where the fat black man who just saved her life went. Although it was dark, she couldn't see clearly who was there. But she probably knew that it should be Zhu Jojo and his party. Li Shuao snorted. Why are you still lingering? waiting for that fat man to take your soul away with you. Do you think it was possible that they saved us just now? Them, Li Shuao was stunned for San Miao, and then he realized who, they, Sha Shui was talking about, and said angrily. What the hell, how can they be so kind? Besides, how can those amateurs have such powerful helpers? Chu Chenge counted the remaining members of the Blue Elephant Guild, and there were still six people. Compared with when I just downloaded the copy, I lost nearly half. He looked at everyone with an ugly expression and said. It is my responsibility to cause heavy casualties to everyone this time. In the next two hours, we must take care of each other and there can be no more casualties. Li Shuao curled his lips, stood up and walked towards the cave. Shuao, where are you going? Stone cave. I just said that for the rest of the time, everyone must look after each other. Don't act alone. I can take care of myself, don't worry. Chu Chenge frowned, but he still waved to the remaining team members and followed them. On the other side of the mountain, Linglong looked at Zhu Jojo and Lu Sheng and asked aloud. Where are we going? Zhu Jojo pointed in the direction of the cave. Of course we're going back to the cave. Everyone has gone there. Lu Sheng stretched out his hand to stop him. Although the main mission has been adjusted, I don't think this dungeon will allow us to spend the last two hours so easily. So what do you mean? Where there are many people, there will be fierce attacks from the guilty people. It is best for us to hide somewhere else. Ling Long tilted her head and thought. I think what you said makes sense. How about we rush directly to their stronghold and kill them by surprise? A line of cold sweat suddenly broke out on Lu Sheng's forehead. That's not necessary. I just saw another cave on the other side of the mountain. Maybe we can go there to get out of the wind. Lu Sheng and the others then walked towards the other side of the mountain against the direction of the crowd. Sure enough, I found another cave halfway up the mountain. Compared with the cave we came from, this cave is even more dilapidated. 
The outside was covered with vines, and the ground in front of the cave was covered with dust. It seems that very few people usually come in and out from here, so it is a good place to hide. Liu Sheng poked his head inside and could hear the whistling of the cold wind. This cave shouldn't be a dead end. It's just right for us. Come with me. As Liu Sheng said this, he put on his night vision goggles, turned around and gave Zhu Jojo a thumbs up, and walked in first. The temperature inside the cave is much lower than outside, but the scene inside the cave is normal, and there are no weird paintings on the stone walls on both sides. Everything looks normal. Liu Sheng couldn't help but thought proudly in his heart. I got it right again. The three of them walked forward for about 20 minutes when they vaguely saw a little light appearing in front of them. We're almost at the exit. Liu Sheng gestured in the direction of the cave entrance. Are we still going out? Of course I'm going out. It's dark and damp in here, making me feel uncomfortable. Ling Long complained and took the lead, walking at the front. Liu Sheng and Zhu Jojo looked at each other. This girl looks so petite, but why does she always look so fearless? Immediately from the front, Ling Long yelled. Say it again, where am I young? Liu Sheng stuck out his tongue, took two quick steps, and followed Ling Long. The light in front of him became more and more dazzling, and the entrance to the cave was already close before his eyes in a blink of an eye. At this moment, Liu Sheng suddenly noticed that Ling Long was standing still. What's wrong? Liu Sheng stepped forward curiously, and saw Ling Long stretching out her hand in shock and pointing in the distance. Looking in the direction of Ling Long's finger, Liu Sheng suddenly saw two giant mechas more than 10 meters high fighting fiercely on the rocky hill outside the cave. The title above the head of a mecha reads, An S-Class Fighting Mecha Neja. Another title above the head is, A SS-Level Golden Mecha Sage. Dry, why are you here? The three of them wanted to avoid the limelight, but they accidentally ran into the 1v1 battlefield between the Monkey King Mecha and the Neja Mecha. At this time, it was obvious that the Monkey King's Mecha had the upper hand. The artillery on his body firmly blocked the Neja Mecha's retreat. A heavy missile hit Neja's chest, blowing Neja's mecha away. The great sage's mecha is filled with golden light and looks menacing. Regardless of the sophistication of the structure of the mecha itself or the advanced level of its equipment, it was completely different from the previous mechas. It is worthy of being an SS-level golden mecha. While Lu Sheng marveled in his heart, he made gestures with Zhu Jojo and others to quietly retreat into the cave. Just as the three of them were about to leave quietly, a laser cannon suddenly struck from behind. Hitting just above the entrance of the cave, the rocks fell and immediately blocked the original entrance of the cave. A cold snort came from the Great Sage Mecca in the distance. Do you think the radar on the Mecca is just a decoration? You can come and go as you please. At this time, the faces of Lu Sheng and the others became particularly embarrassed. He obviously planned to find a place to hang out until the countdown was over, but his cleverness was mistaken for him, and he managed to hang out under Sun Qishan's eyes. No matter how bad everyone in the Blue Elephant Guild is, they can only fight against the sinners. It would be better for a few of them to stick directly to the face of the criminal boss. I really don't know if we are too lucky or too unlucky. Liu Sheng and the others stood there, not daring to move. Zhu Jojo asked softly with his back teeth. Xiao Lu, are your two good friends, one black and one white, still there? Liu Sheng replied frustratedly. They need 100 points to come out for one minute, and I only have 8 points left. What about you, do you have enough points? 89 points. Didn't you kill so many mutant beasts? How come you only got 89 points? What? Killing mutant beasts will give you points. Liu Sheng suddenly realized that the points he lost by killing mutant beasts were entirely due to the critical attack of the air hammer. Where's Ling Long? Do you have enough points? Ling Long pouted. This is my first time downloading a dungeon, and the total score is only 60. Okay, now black and white impermanence can't come out at all. But it's okay. The Neja Mecha is still fighting on the field. We can take the opportunity to escape. Zhu Jojo spoke to comfort the two of them. However, as soon as he finished speaking, the three of them saw the Neja Mecha getting up from the ground with difficulty. Quickly ignite and fly towards the sky. Sun Kishin, Jin Taibai is already on his way to have peace talks with you. Stop chasing me. If you have anything to say in the future, talk to him. 
Seeing the Nezha Mecca disappearing in the blink of an eye, Liu Sheng and the other three looked at each other in shock. A greeting to Nezha's family resounded across the sky. At this time, only the great sage Mecca and Liu Sheng were left standing on the rocky hill, looking at each other. The Mecca sage raised the laser gun in his hand and pointed it at Liu Sheng and the others. Don't worry, I will not have peace talks with them, so we will always be enemies. If you three have anything else to say, if not, I will send you on your way first. Seeing the bright blue light from the laser gun, Liu Sheng had an idea in his mind and suddenly raised his hand. I do, I do. The blue light is temporarily extinguished. What do you want to say? At this time, Liu Sheng took out a treadmill from the equipment column. Then, one on the left and the other on the right, he held the hands of Zhu Jojo and Linglong. I want to get some exercise. After Liu Sheng finished speaking, he stepped heavily on the treadmill with one foot. Before they even had time to blink, Liu Sheng and the three men, together with the treadmill, disappeared under the eyes of the great sage Mecca. WTF, time passed before the eyes of Liu Sheng and the others, and they soon came to a parallel world. He was about to breathe a sigh of relief, but suddenly remembered. This is a love suite. My heart immediately started beating again. Sure enough, I heard Zhu Jojo ask with curiosity. Xiao Lu, is this your secret base? The words, secret base, made Liu Sheng blush and his heart beat. He quickly let go of their hands and explained. No, this is the space that comes with this hypertime treadmill. Your own space. Zhu Jojo looked at this pink suite curiously. Love double bed, pink gauze curtain, flower fragrance, and family planning supplies. Little dear, are you sure these are all it comes with? Liu Sheng was now at a loss to explain, so he could only explain with a blushing face. It really comes with it. As soon as I stop running, this space disappears, so these things are definitely not for me. I didn't prepare it for you, so how could I still? Zhu Jojo glanced at Ling Long unconsciously. Ling Long immediately covered her face and said coquettishly. Hate it, I won't agree to it, how shameful. Zhu Jojo was stunned for a moment, and then his face immediately turned crimson. Little brat, what are you thinking about? The three of them stayed in this special room for nearly five hours with their own thoughts. During this period, in order to ensure that Lu Sheng could continue running, he deliberately released part of the fatigue time stored in the fatigue hard drive onto Zhu Jojo and Ling Long. The two people immediately collapsed on the bed from exhaustion. Liu Sheng suddenly had an idea when he saw the appearance of the two of them. He immediately pulled out his camera and took a bed photo of the two of them. Zhu Jojo immediately cursed, Little dear, what are you doing? Ling Long smiled shyly, Thanks, five hours in the parallel world are equivalent to one hour in the outside world. Zhu Jojo, who had endured five hours of fatigue torture, lay on the bed so exhausted that he gasped and said, How about we go out and take a look? It's been more than an hour outside. It's time for Sun Qishan to leave. Liu Sheng nodded. There was less than half an hour left before the end of the mission, so it shouldn't be a big problem. Then they gradually stopped, and the three people returned to the rocky hills again. Sure enough, there was no sign of the Mecha Monkey King in front of him. All three people breathed a sigh of relief. This mission was passed without any danger. At this moment, a cold voice came from behind. I guessed it right you still stayed where you were. Immediately afterwards, a laser gun was pressed against the back of Ling Long's head. Sun Qishan held Ling Long hostage and walked away from the two of them, then waved to Lu Sheng and the other two. You two, get off the treadmill now and stand under the mecca. Ling Long was arrested, and Lu Sheng did not dare to step on the treadmill again, so he had to follow Sun Qishan's words and stand under the Monkey King's mecca. At this time, he finally saw clearly the appearance of the man in front of him. He is not tall and has short hair. He has a thin and pointed face, with a small beard on his chin. The most unforgettable thing is that there is a long and narrow scar on his right eye, which makes him look particularly vicious. Not to mention how depressed Lu Sheng and the other two people are now. Seeing that Jin Taibai is about to arrive, the task will be completed soon. However, Several of them fell into the hands of Sun Qishan at this time. It is simply a capital word, back. Zhu Jojo begged for mercy. Your Majesty, you see you have won the battle, and Sky City has also sent people to sue for peace. The three of us are just insignificant soldiers, so just let us go. 
King, Sun Kishan frowned. What King, we are not bandits. To tell you the truth, now that we have been fighting in succession, there is nothing to talk about. We will definitely defeat the Sky City. As for the three of you, I don't care whether you broke in by accident or deliberately attacked. Okay, anyway, if it falls into my hands, I have to send it to my brothers to replace the bad parts. Zhu Jojo took a breath, although there were three people on his side now, and Sun Kishan only had one. But Ling Long was restrained, and there was nothing he could do for a while. Liu Sheng saw at this time that the title on Sun Kishan's head read, A criminal who regards Mecca as his life. Suddenly an idea came to my mind. He quickly took out a reverse restoration sticker from the equipment slot and approached one of the legs of the great sage Mecca. Sun Kishin, this piece of paper in my hand is a special prop. If you don't release Ling Long, I will destroy your Mecca. Sun Kishin looked at the note in Lu Sheng's hand and laughed. You must be crazy, you fat guy. You dare to threaten me with just a sticker. Believe it or not, I'll kill you first. At this time, Ling Long, who was held up by his gun, shook his head repeatedly. Your Majesty, I advise you to believe him this time. I've already told you that I'm not called king. Also, don't treat me like a fool and just try to fool me with a sticker. Sun Kishin fired angrily into the sky and shouted. You two, squat down for me and don't move. Seeing that Sun Kishin didn't believe him, Lu Sheng simply became disheartened and put the reverse restoration sticker on one of the mechanical legs of the mecha. At this time, there was a dinging bell sound, and the huge mechanical leg suddenly disappeared. The great sage's mecha lost its center of gravity, and its body immediately fell heavily to one side. No, Sun Kishin looked at the pile of ores and oil on the ground, furious, his eyes about to burst. Asshole, what on earth did you do to my mecha? Liu Sheng calmly took out another reverse restoration sticker and approached the other leg of the mecha again. As I said, this is a special prop. Let us go quickly, otherwise, this leg will not be saved. Sun Kishin suddenly became furious and fired several shots into the sky with a laser gun, but he did not dare to shoot at Lu Sheng and the others. After finally calming down his anger, Sun Kishin let go of Ling Long and said in a tired voice, Don't hurt my mecha anymore, I can send you away. Also, I can give you something. As he spoke, he took out a glass ball from his arms and threw it towards Lu Sheng. Lu Sheng took the glass ball, and a message immediately popped up in the notification bar. Congratulations on defeating the Great Sage Mecha, gaining plus 100 points and plus 3 million money. Open the hidden map, Yaolin Fantasy. The moment the notification appeared, time and space changed again before Lu Sheng's eyes. When he opened his eyes again, he actually came to a foreign wonderland. Zhu Jojo looked at the scene around him in surprise and asked aloud. Have we turned on hidden missions? Liu Shang nodded silently. Should be. The so-called Yaolin fantasy is actually very simple. Flowing clouds, rockery and two flowers in the pond. Liu Shang and the others walked forward and saw a text introduction in front of the two flowers. The one on the left is called Bana Lotus. Prop name. Biggin Lotus. Item rating. Holy level SS. Introduction to the props. This shore is this life, and the other shore is the past life. Picking lotuses from the other shore, my soul will be reborn. What's the meaning? Zhu Jojo looked at Lu Sheng with a blank expression. Lu Sheng pondered for a moment and said, Translated in modern terms, this sentence roughly means that if you pick it, you will die. Hiss. Zhu Jojo took a breath of cold air again and subconsciously took a step back. That stinky mountain bandit will never die if he kills us. At this time, I heard Ling Long say from the side, Come here quickly, this flower is interesting. Lu Sheng and the two then looked towards the flower on the right. Item name, Afterlife Flower. Item rating, Holy Level SS. Introduction to props, we will meet in the next life and stay with each other for the rest of our lives. Two people holding flowers of the next life will 100% meet each other no matter which life they appear in. Ling Long looked at Zhu Jojo with a cautious look in her eyes. This way we can be together in every life. Zhu Jojo curled his lips disdainfully. There are people who believe in this kind of pseudo-scientific stuff even in the afterlife. What are these two things used for? Lu Sheng pointed to a stone tablet on the ground and said. Here are the instructions. Then he read softly. 
fellow warriors, there are two fairy flowers in front of you. One is called Bana Lotus, and the other is called After Life Flower. You can pick any one and bring it back, but please note, if you pick one of them, the other one will fall into the lower realm. Either become a source of evil, or become a source of love. Whether it is evil or love, it all depends on your thoughts. Please make your choice. Lu Sheng raised his head and glanced at the two of them. There is also a signature below, Mander Game Producer. Codename, Unearned Love. What kind of airplane is this? Zhu Jojo muttered dissatisfiedly. Lu Sheng looked at the stone tablet and explained. This is probably a human nature test question. Choosing the lotus of the other side can benefit the lower realm, but you will die because of it. Choosing the flower of the afterlife can protect your love, but the lower realm will suffer because of it. Are you serious about this? Lu Sheng raised his head curiously and looked at Zhu Jojo and Linglong. Both shook their heads. At this time, an old voice sounded in the illusion. One day in the fantasy world is one year in the human world. Time flies, and beauty grows old with a snap of the fingers. Please make your choice as soon as possible. What? One day in the fantasy world and one year in the human world? Real or fake? Lu Sheng suddenly became nervous. Because his weekly mission has not been completed yet, if he is delayed here for too long, wouldn't he be about to self-destruct after getting out of the dungeon? So he quickly looked at Zhu Jojo and the other two. Quick, let's make a choice. Ling Long looked at Zhu Jojo and shook the corner of his clothes. Whatever brother Zhu chooses, I will choose. Zhu Jojo scratched his head. What's the choice? If you pick Lotus, you have to die. Let's just let the person who asked the question die. Lu Shang nodded. You're right. So I plucked the afterlife flowers in handfuls. At the moment when the flowers of the next life were picked away by Lu Shang, the water in Yaochi suddenly dried up, and a hole suddenly appeared under the bottom of the pond. The other shore lotus fell from the hole. Zhu Jojo looked down. Hey, it seems like a sea. As soon as Zhu Jojo finished speaking, the old voice sounded again. You have made your choice, the first act copy of Afterlife Flower and Higginlian, the far from home is coming to an end. You will return to the real world after a 10 second countdown. Congratulations on completing the first dungeon. See you in the next dungeon. Monday Game Project Team, I wish you a happy game. Is this the end? Lu Sheng looked at Zhu Jojo and Ling Long in confusion. Realizing that this was also their first time experiencing a dungeon, they both looked at me with puzzled faces. Looking at the numbers counting down in front of him, Lu Sheng suddenly remembered that he had not left the contact information of Zhu Jojo and Ling Long. Lao Zhu, Ling Long, let's leave our contact information quickly. I don't know if the next dungeon can be assigned to the same area. If we have a contact information, we can have a contact when we return to the real world. Ah, yes, yes. Zhu Julie immediately called up the communication interface in a hurry. You sweep me or I sweep you. I'll scan you. As soon as Lu Sheng turned on the camera, his vision suddenly went dark. The countdown ended and he was forcibly expelled from the dungeon. I haven't added a friend yet. Lu Sheng once again came to that spotless world. At this time, a line of small words slowly appeared in front of my eyes. The final task settlement begins now. Successfully clear the dungeon, get plus 30 points, plus 100,000 money. The first batch to participate in the dungeon test and get plus 100 points. The first grand prize in the area, you will get a chance to draw a treasure box. Five treasure boxes appeared in front of Lu Sheng again. Lu Sheng chose the fourth treasure box. A very rare treasure chest. Opening the treasure chest, Lu Sheng received three bottles of potions. Item name. Hidden Attribute Adjustment Potion X3. Prop Rating. Epic A. Introduction to Props. Game developers always leave some small secret doors. For example, everyone has attribute values such as intelligence, strength, agility, and appearance. They are usually invisible, but it does not mean that they do not exist. Using hidden attribute adjustment potions can improve your hidden attributes, but there is a prerequisite, you must first see your hidden attribute values. Hidden attributes, Lu Sheng closed the props window and clicked on his own properties interface. Name, Lu Sheng, first career, none, 50,000 points to awaken. Money, 8,893,000. Ladder points, 238. 
In other words, in addition to these basic attributes, there are also hidden attributes that are not displayed to the outside world. Once you can open the hidden attribute panel, can you use these three bottles of potions to adjust specific attribute values? Then you must adjust your weight down, and then adjust your physical fitness up. Lu Sheng put the three bottles of potions back into the equipment slot while thinking in his mind. At this time, the scene in front of him changed again, and Lu Sheng finally returned to the resort hotel. At this time, he was lying on the bed, still maintaining the same posture as when he entered the instance. He quickly turned to look at the clock beside the bed. Twelve o'clock in the morning. It's already noon. Lu Sheng stretched, sat up from the bed, walked to the window, and opened the curtains. The sun was shining brightly outside the window, and there was an endless stream of cars on the two-lane asphalt road. It was actually a lot more lively than usual. Speaking of which, what day of the week is it today? Lu Sheng looked at the clock on the bedside again. Sunday. Oh, it turns out it's Sunday, no wonder. Lu Sheng muttered to himself, and suddenly, he seemed to realize something. Sunday. I actually stayed in the dungeon for four whole days. That shit-like illusion is actually real. It's over, it's over, it's over. My weekly tasks haven't been completed yet. I won't just burp like this. Lu Sheng quickly packed up his things and rushed out of the room like the wind. He had to rush to Beijing City quickly and give the gift to Yang Yuyan before zero o'clock today. Comma, comma. In the two days since Lu Sheng entered Yaolin's fantasy world, the outside world has exploded. First, after he defeated the Mecha Monkey King, the world broadcast rang again. Congratulations to the asterisk 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 player in Area 104 for successfully repelling the Mecha Monkey King and opening the hidden map, Yaolin Fantasy. Secondly, in the task settlement stage, Lu Sheng once again defeated Sheng Tian and other super guilds and once again won the first achievement award in the region. Congratulations to three players including asterisk 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 from District 104 for winning the first grand prize in the district. Finally, and what made him most famous were the several notifications after the copy ended. Emergency update notice for game background in all regions. Due to a player in Area 104 repelling the Monkey King's mecha, Sun Kishin's strength was seriously damaged. As a result, the peace-promoting negotiations between Jin Taibai and Sun Kishin in District 104 went particularly smoothly. Sun Kishin finally agreed to attend the Peach Banquet held by the Lord's Mansion of Sky City to discuss the peace agreement in detail. Because Area 104 breaks through the original story framework, the second act of the Dungeon series will be changed to Peach Feast, which will be released at noon next Monday. Just by yourself, you can change the story direction of the entire dungeon. This is the first time this has appeared in the Mander game world. Almost instantly, this mysterious asterisk 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 player from Area 104 occupied the front pages of all websites. On the player forum, the top 10 posts are all related to the asterisk 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 master in Area 104. Everyone wants to know the identity of this great god. Since from beginning to end, the research association has not collected any video clips of this great master. So everyone gave him a name with a tacit understanding. The Lone Ranger. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.